Welcome everyone to the first official Heroes Hearth TFT fight night. We did a little test run before, but now we are here for the official first episode. I'm joined here by my co-caster, Casanova. How you doing? What's up, guys? I'm doing well, man. I'm ready for some TFT action. We got a bunch of really good players tonight. Really excited for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll introduce those players in a moment, but first... I want to talk about all the ways that you can support our players tonight, including the bits. So the way that it works, these bits, is that um, all bits that are cheered will go a little bit to the cast and the crew. Most of it will go to the players. Uh, first place gets 25%, second place 15 third place and fourth place both get 10%, and 20% will go to the bounty system. So Faye won our, our first little in-house uh, Heroes Hearth one, so she is the defending champion. If Faye wins again, she could choose to uh, cash out those bits earned on last time's episode, but she can only do that because she would be theoretically winning two in a row. Now, if somebody else is victorious here today, then they would have to, or they would be invited back next week, and if they won next week, they could then cash out those 20% bits as the bounty, but you have to win two in a row. But yeah, all these bits, they help out everyone here on the show. So if you're feeling like it, definitely send some cheers in here. Uh, but to introduce our players, Casanova, why don't you take that away for me? For sure. I'm excited to introduce these players. We got a really good group of TFTers out here. We got Faye, the defending champion from uh, the last time when we did our little test run. She's here to try to claim her bounty. We got DX Zen, a uh, high-ranking challenger player, as well as C9 J Street, just picked up, as well as Crowen onto C9's TFT team. Cladius, a previous rank one. Uh, Satat, another TFT player that's been up and coming. Blevins is uh, from the podcast Little Legends, a uh, nice uh, podcast. He just had an interview with Josh OG over there. We got Huge and Zeus as well, two more Challenger TFT players. So we got a doozy for us here. We got an exciting one. I'm. Uh, who's your favorite to win, Kron? Who's your favorite here? Oof, uh, that's that's hard. I I know I have a lot of respect for you know obviously Jay Shrite, my teammate. I think he's obviously a, a super good player, but I, I think Claudius could uh, definitely give him a run for his money. Uh, I know Faye, you know Faye's defending champion, so I'll have to see if she can uh, maybe stop my predictions from coming true. But we'll see. Those definitely two players are, are my ones to really look at here tonight. Yeah, see yeah. For me, go. for me, Jay, I know is a competitor, Jay Street. And uh, just getting picked up by C9, I know he's hungry to uh, to find this win real quick. My dark horse for this one is Zeus. I think he might uh, come out of nowhere and surprise some people, pick up a couple wins. We'll see how he does in the points overall. But with that, I think we are ready to send this all in onto the first game. We will have four games tonight to determine who wins. Point system will be broken down. First place gets four points. Second place gets three points. Third place gets two points, and fourth place gets one. Zero points for the rest. So you got to make sure you land those top four finishes. Indeed. But we will jump into game number one as soon as we can. Yeah, with this format, it's not quite as punishing. If you you know get a fifth or eighth, there's definitely some opportunities to come back in this uh, HHE fight night. Oh, and we're loading into the game. I wonder what strategies people will come out here today. This meta, you know, it's been going on for a couple weeks now. There's going to be another patch in a couple of days, but people should have a pretty good idea of what's strong right now. So I wonder what kind of strategies they'll pull in. So we got the first carousel underway here. So yeah, what are they looking for this. again here in the uh, the current meta? Are you still looking for the bows? Is that the thing, or is you you kind of is it a bit more fluid? I mean, I would think it's a bit more fluid, but definitely still bows. I would probably myself prioritize bows, rods, swords, uh, tears, maybe. I mean, uh, Static Shiv is one of the you know really good items in this meta right now. There's a whole bunch of good early game items uh, with Luden's Echo, uh, Static Shiv, Ionic Spark, uh, Guardian's Angel is a huge one in this meta right now. So swords and vests are a pretty yeah. priority there. Seems like a lot more items kind of a bit more viable right now. Uh, Faye, last time we saw, abusing the static shift stacking, and that uh, did help her come to her victory last time. So we'll she see if she can repeat that. I believe in two separate occasions, she had three shifts. Yeah, so she almost got a fourth one that one game, but yeah. we'll see if that's the route that she's wanting to go. Here we see Zeus picks up a, a belt as well, sells Lissandra, picks up 
three Nidalees in the first roll. That's a pretty good roll. See if he ends up going you know, a couple wilds early. I think a Nidalee early game is a pretty good carry. Yeah, that's going to be super good for Zeus. Having that early tier 2 unit might help him start a win streak, especially with, like, as you said, the Nidalee. A lot of comps right now that he can go into. Uh, we see Claudius decided to pick up the uh, Lucian with the Vest. He's picking up a couple nobles here. He does have the noble package, three of them right now. Help out his early game. That did get um, a buff since our last fight night. I believe the noble change was not in last time. I believe not. But yeah, now noble, instead of having 100 armor, gives 60 armor and 60 magic resist. So it's a bit better against a lot of comps. I think it's a bit of an early game nerf, seeing as not much magic damage comes out early game. That's more of a later game thing, but uh, it still might make the difference in a couple matchups. <laughs> Maybe J Street will pick up these pairs of Aries here. That's one of the things that it would be good against, but that's a big cold commitment. And if you don't roll a third Ari, could be uh, could spell disaster. Yeah, but he does pick we'll up one see. at least. Yeah, we'll see if he picks up the second one. It's interesting to wait and see. Picks up the Garen instead. Yeah. Not really sure. We'll have to look back there in a, in a bit and see if he decides to buy both of them. Uh, Blevins doesn't seem to have anything yet as far as um, synergies, but he's got a couple units, a couple uh, pairs here. He's got the pair of Tristanas, a couple Void units as well. Yeah, those couple of voids. I think getting three voids, if he's able to roll the Rek'Sai, that's a pretty strong early game, and is able to transition into uh, a pretty large amount of comps. We see Faye, actually, as well, with three wilds and two Aries, so I wonder if she'll get <laughs> that third Aries soon. Patented she has their static start. Start. <laughs> yeah, Coming she out does. early with that, you know, trying to hold on to her uh, title as a Fight Night champion. I wonder if she'll actually go wild Sorks. I know that's a comp that she does like. She picks up the Morgana, so it's looking like Sorks are in her future with the Kastans on the bench. Not something that she can put in quite yet, but perhaps soon. Yeah, pretty good start for a wild Sork going in. Does have two Kastans, might get that tier 2. Early Morgana pickup. I know uh, she's seen some nerfs, but overall still a pretty solid unit. Yeah, she's definitely one that's not very favored right now, but early game Morgana... We'll still probably be able to get her ultimate off, and it is impactful, especially when she's able to put that three sorks in for that damage. Yeah, absolutely. We see a couple little fights here. Zeus between against uh, DXN. Zeus yeah. with the tier two Kha'Zix to match with his tier two Nidalee. Very strong early game for Zeus right now. Definitely going to help him get that early win streak, and uh, hopefully yes. he can transition that into something more. Sends DXN down to the bottom of the pack here. Those tier two units dealing a bit more damage than the tier ones at this point. Now, Akazix 2 definitely are one of the best early game carry units, in my opinion. If he's able to find uh, those voids as well, dealing that true damage would be absolutely scary. DXN though picks up a Warwick to pair with the Ari. A lot of Ari's rolled being rolled this game so far. Yeah, a lot of people are picking them up as well, going to make it a little bit harder for others to find it, but as only a two-cost unit, it shouldn't be too insane for people to find at least that tier two that they're looking for. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I, there was actually uh, three Fioras being offered to DXN there, I wonder if he'll end up picking those up. We see a two-night start here from Claudius. I think Claudius, yeah, just has a belt and a tier, so has that unfortunate one item and three gold start. It's one of the worst ones you can get in the game, unfortunately, but perhaps that bad luck protection will come in later and he'll be able to get the items back on the wolves or perhaps raptors. Yeah, we'll see what he's able to do with that right now, only rocking the knight synergy on level three. Uh, gonna probably lose here to, I believe that's the tat. Yes, uh, it is. Got uh, GA on that Darius, definitely going to be able to win this round, but yeah. Claudius still not losing too much HP yet, even with that poor start, so we'll see if it starts to get worse for him before it gets better at Krux. Alright, go back to J Shriot. J Shriot did pick up the Aries and found the third one, so I wonder if we'll be looking for another Wild here, or another Sork. Uh, tier 2 Ari. oh, I think also... Oh no, there's there's a vest on the Garen, never mind. It's not a one item start here. It has three items, but doesn't want to commit to making either a Rage Blade or a Locket or the Phantom Dancer quite yet. Those items aren't as great in this meta. So he's trying to see what he can pick up from the first carousel yeah, here. Seems like maybe he'll be looking for a shiv for his Ari as well. Uh, there's probably a couple other options he sh he could go for, but he does have a pretty strong start here with the double T2s. Probably, as you said, looking for that Sork or another Wild just to get this comp even more online. He, going up against Zeus, uh, another one of the stronger people right now, but it looks like uh, Jay's got a little bit of a lead on him right now. 
That we'll Terry win that with the end. Ari, yeah. Indeed. Uh, the couple options that you were alluding to could be Static Shiv or even a Ludens. I think Ludens is one of those yep. items that's very strong on an early Ari. Uh, so we'll see which one he is able to go for there. Um, we saw a couple of Vola Bears by DXN. <laughs> I know Vola so Bears I... falling out of the meta, but... Yeah, so I guess we will probably see Jay look for a tier, though. But it <laughs> unfortunately, there's not going to be a tier available. So he won't be able to grab that item on this carousel. Mm -hmm. Nope, it's the worst feeling. You're like, I need one item, and it's just not there on any of them. Takes in a little bit of scouting here. Uh, we'll see which players are able to come out of the lead from this carousel. It's always one of the big power spikes, the, the timings, either after a carousel or after a PvE round. That's when a lot of players will roll, level up, or find those uh, items needed to make their compositions a lot stronger. So we'll see a bunch of shifts in who's strong and who's not right now. Exactly, yeah. We're gonna see what comps are transitioning into. What do you think is kind of the go-to one that you think is the best comp right now? Ideally, like, in most scenarios, if you're given it, you'll go it every time. Uh, I think in most scenarios, if you have a really good uh, Cho'Gath, avoid Sorcerer composition, you're able to find a T2 Cho'Gath, you know, give him Morellos, Guardian's Angel, that's one of the objectively strongest compositions right now. Um, I've also seen players have some success with uh, Draven compositions and Ranger compositions. Um, I think the Void Sorcerer one is a little bit favored if you're able to get the optimal start or optimal units. Uh, but with so many people building Cho'Gas, it'll be hard to find that tier two. Ooh. Right. And we're going to see a GA picked up for Faye here. She's got the stack. She has NGA on this Ari. She seems to have a pretty good start yeah, uh, Riding here. 100 She's HP. Got yeah, 100 HP, got some wilds, got the Sork bonus already. Uh, I think that was a tier 2 Rek'Sai as well in the front line, so got some beef up there, especially this early on. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. tier 2 Rek'Sai, start. tier 2 Ari. Uh, Faith's composition is definitely scary right now. I don't think she'll lose HP for a while with this start. That's one of the stronger ones I've seen all week of me spamming games. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. She also has a Draven on the bench as well. Yeah, she could pivot to Draven, way. or if she can find that um, Cho'Gath you were talking about earlier, uh, she oh, could yeah. be able to, this composition seems to lend itself to easily transition into Cho'Gath with the 3 Void, uh, having the tier 2 Rek'Sai already, and having a couple of Sorcerers um, could definitely really lend towards that if she can find it. Definitely. Speaking of Cho'Gath, we see Jay Shrite finding one here. But again, for the Brawler buff, also a tier 2 Ari facing against Blevins. Blevins has a couple of Gunslingers and a Kassadin. Kassadin on the Cho'Gath, actually, denying that ultimate. That's pretty yeah, strong. Yeah, that may actually allow Blevins to kind of upset uh, Jay here. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be able yeah. to pick up the win over Jay. Uh, going to keep himself kind of healthy as well. He was losing a little bit of HP, but seems to have stabilized a little bit there. Thanks to that Kassadin, they're going to go into the Krug round now. Uh, usually do you still see a lot of pivots here? You used to see a lot more pivots back, um, last patch on Krugs. I don't know if that's stayed the same since then. Uh, yeah, a lot of players will end up, oh, so top finds a Cho'Gath, but a lot of players will, in fact, after Krugs, uh, level up, or they'll wait two more turns to level up. It depends on how confident they are in their current composition and how much gold they want to, uh, save up. Uh, now, Cho'Gath is so strong of a unit. We see Sathot even here. He has no synergies with the Cho'Gath, but just picks it up. Because if you find one, if you're able to find the other voids, or perhaps some brawlers, find some items for the Cho'Gath, it's going to be so strong right now in this meta. Yeah, it seems so. Uh, we saw Jay pick one up, and he's going to be trying to probably find that void synergy. He did have the Kassadin already. He's looking. He's got Ari, so he's looking for the sorcerers. It looks like uh, Jay and Faye are both going to be looking for the same composition, kind of. Uh, but Faye just needs to find that Cho'Gath still in order to get that composition on really online yeah if she finds that cho'gath i mean she's still 100 percent. she would stay at 100 percent for a long long time here she does find a void though and levels up to six puts the voids in so rek'sai uh Kasten, and kha'zix will all do true damage and rek'sai's damage and kha'zix's damage will be buffed by uh, uh sorcerers as well able to if she's able to find that tier two kha'zix then they'll just increase her lead here just facing Satat with a tier yeah. one cannon. A lot of tier one units here. Yeah, she did enough. end up putting a Morellos onto that uh, <laughs> Ari as well. A lot of good items here, especially for the early game. Those yeah. do scale pretty well too overall with the GA and the Morellos. Oh, this fight wasn't even close. Yeah. Uh, 
Faye's start is so insane here. Those are three extremely good items, and she had a, had a spare one on the bench as well. I wonder if it'll catch up to her later, where she maybe won't find as many on the Wolves or the Raptors, but for now, her start is very, very strong. Yeah, Zoo staying really healthy as well. Indeed. Uh, able to continue picking up wins. At the bottom, we've got Huge, unfortunately, down to what looks about 41 HP right now. Yeah. He's going to be probably a little bit pressured to maybe start rolling soon, uh, trying to find some upgrades. I wonder how far he's willing to go down in HP, though. Uh, we see Claudius here picking up some Rangers. So uh, I know Claudius was a big fan of Static Shivs uh, back in the uh, PBE of TFT, and now that Shivs are a very good item. He seems to have uh, grown fond of them once more. Yeah, and interestingly, Claudius was the one that Faye did particularly call out by name for us to get on this week. The yeah. It was the Battle of the Shivs, as Claudius is known for his static shivs, and Faye had built so many of them in that previous uh, competition. So we're going to be seeing that come into play here as you know Claudius has picked up a shiv. Faye's got one over on her board as well. Very, very true. A really close fight here between Claudius and Satoch. The Battle of Trisana is at the end there. And even though Claudius did not have that shiv, the Vayne shiv was able to uh, uh, secure the victory there. And Nivea roll here, that's interesting. Level 6 provides you a 0.5% chance to find a 5-cost legendary unit. He was hovering over it, I wonder if he'll you pick it up. You can see him thinking about it, just look at his cam there. You see, you see <laughs> him heavily considering that Anivia. I think he wants to make gold here as well, and that's kind of what he's debating. Yeah. Uh, trying to figure out how he can make gold and buy it potentially. But instead, uh, he's going to pick up the TF. Looks like he may just be trying to pick up a couple sorcerers. Might end up leaving that Anivia on the bench there. Might I not pick it up. Will. Yeah, maybe if he had a couple elementalists offered, or maybe Glacial, he might have considered it, but he did not get baited by it. It always feels so bad when you pick up a good unit, but you just can't do anything with it, and you're just wasting that gold the whole time. But here, faces huge against a Volibear tier 2 with a shrink item. Yeah, while well, Volibear had fallen out of the meta, it's still a pretty strong unit overall, especially if you're not being offered a lot of the other stuff you're wanting. Uh, it could help you kind of stabilize until he can transition to maybe a Draven later, and it did help him pick up this win over Zeus here. Yeah, Zeus was in second place and falls to four units there. That Volibear, while it's going to be pretty good in the mid-game, might be outscaled a bit soon. See Blevins here. What item we want to pick up? It's first pick on the Carousel because he's at 50 HP. Last place for now ends up picking up the bow with the Akali. Probably won't use the Akali, but just wants that bow. Yep, getting the $4 bow, getting the little bit of extra value coming out of picking that unit. Mm, uh, we do see a Kindred picked up, which I'm interested if that will go onto a board. It's one of those units that uh, can help a comp con come online, especially if you are running Rangers and have the Phantom tech with a Mordekaiser. So we'll want to yeah. check uh, uh, Satat's board, see if that's why he picked it up, or if he was just looking for that cloak. I think both items are, are good uh, if he decides to go Rangers. He has the Ash on the board, has a Varus offered, so that might be uh, might be an option here. I actually particularly do like the Kindred uh, with the Cloak on her, because it makes a Hush, and usually on your Kindred you want a little bit of mana on her, and Hush is one of those really good items in the meta right now that will deny all those Cho'Gaths and Sejuani's from getting their ultimates off. So definitely a good pickup, I thought there. Not quite transitioning yet into Rangers, but... The option is open for him if he decides to do so. That Vera is still in the shop. I wonder if he'll pick it up. He's holding on to them. Going to be running into Jay here, who does have a pair of Rangers as well as a GA on that Sejuani, and that's going to be a huge Sejuani. Almost every single character on the board there. Uh, still got oh, oh, that Cho. Cho'Gath. The Cho Rupture might have been able to be enough for Sadat to maybe come back, but we see the Ari in the back line still pumping out a lot of damage. Garen going to spin crazy. forward. That's going to be yeah. ooh, That's going to be it for Sadat. going to be able to find that win. Kind of oh, wow. keeping himself stable. Still a good amount of HP for him as well. Uh, very close game, actually. No one's falling too incredibly low. Uh, Faye still, you know, trucking along. A lot of yeah. HP on her. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. She's sitting at 100 still. So yeah. has not found that Shogath, but has found a pair of Aurelian Souls. Has that Draven still on the bench. She's sitting at 30 gold. I mean, she's on a nine win streak, so she's getting a plus three. Uh, extra gold just for her win streak every round. Definitely a lot of uh, you know freedom there to be able to decide what she wants to transition into into the mid and late game. 
Yeah, she is really wishing for that Cho'Gath right now, but it does seem like she will have some options going yeah. into the late game. Doesn't seem like she'll be in too much trouble. This is definitely looking like a solid placing for her this game, even if not a first place. For we'll sure. have to see how be, the late game goes for her. I'd be very surprised if she falls out of top four uh, this game. Uh, but when she finds the pair of Aurelian Souls, when she finds that third one, I believe she might consider selling that Ari, giving those items over to the Aurelian Soul. Aurelian Soul is very good late game carry in this meta. Uh, good with sorcerers, good with um, another Shivana to protect to give um, that dragon bonus 83% resistance of magic damage. So against the mirror matchup specifically, it's going to be so, so strong. She does decide to part with the Draven to make a little bit more gold here. Do you do you like that, or do you like keeping your options open a little bit when you have the, the Draven on your bench? I think at this point, at the Wolves round, you're probably deciding if you're going to go Draven or not, and she doesn't have any Draven items, really. She doesn't have... I mean, you could throw a Static Shiv and Guardian's Angel on him, but she is looking like the Aurelian Souls are going to be the route. She only needs to find one more, then find that Cho'Gath for her to really have a strong Void Sorcerer composition. It's already looking really good for that. Yeah, I mean, that makes perfect sense. You know, Jay's over here, he's still got his, uh, it looks like Rangers is more becoming the composition. He's kind of got a mix. He's kind of splitting the difference right now, still has a strong comp, and mm -hmm. looking to see what he can transition into, it seems. I mean, this is a very smart move on Jay's Street Day's part, because he has a couple of options, and he's also preserving his HP. He's at 73 right now, and sitting in second place. So he's able to, you know, wait a little bit longer. He's on low gold, so he's rolling. Once he hits something that he knows he wants to transition into, That'll be, you know, his go button has a pair of cannons, a pair of ashes, a pair of souls that sells the cannons, but still has a pair of Aatroxes. There's a lot of options for him. I wonder what he's going to try to do. Oh, gets the Phantom yeah. as well as replacing the Knight there. Uh, still, he's sitting on four different synergies, which is really uh, cool to see because uh, he, he does have this kind of split, but it is he's still continuing to have these synergies that are helping him stay healthy and it's really working out for him so far. Indeed, mid combat makes that uh, rapid fire cannon. Deciding if he wants to put it on anybody right now, but just sees that he's winning the fight regardless. I think he's going to go Rangers here. He has all four Rangers, uh, excuse me, and Phantoms, so definitely looking like a possibility for him. Yeah. And uh, we get to Blevinsport. He's, he's on 50 gold. He's going to have to start spending here, of course, okay. right? He's down definitely. to 13. Uh, he does have that Akali in. He's got the four Assassins in right now, five. He doesn't he's... have a sixth on the bench, though. No, he's trying to go ninja assassins. Now, that's a composition that we haven't really seen much in a while. That was a couple patches ago, but then they got nerfed pretty heavily. But Blevin's still trying to uh, you know, make a statement here, saying that, no, ninja assassins, they can still work. I wonder if he'll be able to win this round, though, or if it'll be too late. We'll see if he can survive against Zeus. We have a Yordle package from Zeus as well as a uh, Cho'Gath with two items on him, the GA and the Morello. Mm -hmm. It's not looking good for Blevin so far. It's Looks like he's not... killed one unit, maybe two here. Gonna yeah, get a good he, stun from Pike, good. might get one more. Killing us Poppy might save him if he's able to. Uh, it'll be close oh, either way. The, the, the rupture thing. comes out. That Will he stay alive? Oh, okay. He's barely holding on. Just a sliver of HP. HP. He needs to be able to find those upgrades very, very soon, though. Cladius, one of my predictions to you know be one of the front runners in this game, is down to seven, though. He's close to a lot of upgrades. Those Rangers, almost tier three Mordekaiser. It's actually right there. Does he yeah, see let's it? watch him work here. He does. Oh, he's not going for the. Oh, with the, he wants the Karthus in. He does. Besides, indeed. he's not going to play it, but that would have been a tier three Mordecai. Do you? How do you feel about that play? I'm interested in that one. Actually, I'm not. I, I hmm. as someone who plays a lot of TFT, Crone. That's definitely it an could be considered one. pretty good at TFT. Some may say. <laughs> how do some you feel about that? Say, one? I'm. I don't know. I feel like I don't like it. I feel like the tier three Mordecai was the front line that Claudius needed, and the front line here is. Uh, is it enough? I guess the it, Braum 2 is barely enough this round, but it might not be in the next few. Maybe he's trying to roll into that Karthus 2, he's trying to high roll. Has the Aatrox 2 on the bench. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with that, but actually Blevins did indeed fall the Ninja Assassin player, unfortunately. So I a bit. am so interested <laughs> in watching Cladius right now. I'm so Because he is at 7 yeah. HP. He, the play he made there felt like trolling, but but I, he has an idea. Obviously, obviously yeah, he, he has does. some kind of idea of what he wants to do. 
He just picked up a Ginsu's Rage Blade, full Ginsu's Rage Blade off the carousel. He was very close to a bunch of upgrades, but he is pretty low on gold now. So I want to see what he can do with this once he's going back. He's scouting around trying to see what he has to beat because he can't afford to lose another round. He'll probably die. There's a pretty low chance he lives if he loses a round. Uh, he has a shrink item, so maybe if there's like one unit left and it's shrunken down to one or zero stars, he can live there. But I, I don't know. Finds a few one upgrades upgrade? here. Yeah, finds another. Two upgrades. I don't know. It's going to be Is interesting. Is that enough? I mean, the Ginsu's got to go in. Yeah, it definitely does. I feel like it goes on Ash every time here. Yeah, he does put on the Ash. Uh, this positioning is, you know, close to what traditional positioning would be for Rangers. Uh, generally, the Kindreds are up one more slot, but it does go run, run into a Phantom army here, so probably will end up it beating phase, it. It is though, but still, it should be able to keep him alive. Yeah, uh, Phantoms... I do think Phase army is still pretty strong, but overall, as you said, there is the bug still in the game for Phantom armies where they don't get synergies. Indeed. They have said they're trying to work on that, correct, though? Uh, yeah, they, they've said that it is a bug and they're working on it. Perhaps it'll be fixed next patch. We will see. Uh, Claudius holding on for now, though. Faye still remaining dominant, still remaining 100% HP. She's sitting on over 50 gold as well. Uh, level, yeah. level 8 right now. Her, her start was so good that she was able to just remain on 50 gold. She is almost close to a Rek'Sai 3 right now. Still has not found that third Aurelian soul, though. I wonder what she's going to... And still hasn't hit a choke oh, app. <laughs> There's yeah. the Rek'Sai 3, though. That's, I mean, that's crazy. That's so good for her here to have. Uh, being able to have that Rek'Sai 3, a unit that uh, kind of went under the radar for a while, but the Void changes helped it out a lot, as well as Cho'Gath being so strong in the meta. Makes sense to build those Brawlers, get those synergies. Yeah, she runs into a Phantom Army here. Phantom Army here, so definitely what she's going to clean up with ease. But Claudius is able to pull this one out. The Karthus is channeling. Looks, looks good for him. It does. I was going to say, if you're Claudius, you hate to have seen that last round because he almost lost to Phase Phantom. So he knows that if he if he runs into the top of the table, he's going to be out. Uh, so he's got to find these upgrades now because right now it's just the luck of the draw and who he's, ru he's running, running into. Indeed, he's just praying right now that he does not run into Faye. And that's all you kind of got to do right now, uh, as well as try to roll for your Kindred too, maybe. Not sure if he feels strong enough to level up. Uh, we'll end up having to see what happens. Scouting around, yeah, he's looking at Faye's board right now and is probably thinking, I can't beat that. <laughs> I think most people are looking at Faye's board right now and thinking, I can't beat that. It yeah. seems like it's, I think there is potential for a flawless game from Faye on this one with uh, the high roll she's been getting as well as just the way she's transitioned well into each of these kind of steps of the upgrades. Uh, if she can find those huge upgrades with the Aurelian Soul 2, maybe finding a Cho'Gath, I mean, we definitely could be seeing a, a perfect game come out of her. No, oh, of course. People are going to have to try to uh roll a whole bunch maybe one person in the late game might be able to contest but it'll be a close one so another item that seems to be gaining a lot more popularity recently claudius just picked up the runans Can you talk about runans a little bit for us like what makes it so good now yeah so runans got buffed from uh doing an extra hit of 25 percent damage to 75 percent damage so 50 percent extra uh damage there on the runans and it synergizes very well with rangers you see Ash uh, has the Glacial, and whatever on-hit items that she has that Gla uh, Rangers will run nowadays will be able to proc uh, both the Glacials and the items. So definitely a good pickup for him there. Alright, and we see the Sorcerer Cho'Gath on this board here. That's the classic yeah. meta. Two uh, Cursed Blades on the Yasuo. He's going to die pretty quickly, but we do get the Rupture coming off for the Cho'Gath. We'll see him proc his GA. Maybe he gets another cast off. Looks like he's got a decent amount of HP here. He's surviving. A couple more hits and he's going to get a second cast. He does get stunned. Yeah. Gets the cast off. Doesn't hit as many targets as he may want. But the Kassadin is keeping Kindred from ulting again. Volibear is going to proc here. He's got the heals coming out of that Wormogs as long as he's not focused down. But that kill with the PD is able to stay alive a bit longer. Going to be able to get that ultimate off. Volibear trying to kill these two. This is a really close fight. But it looks like Lucian... No! Oh, time's draw. out. They both take damage. It's going to draw. Looks like wow. Lucian was about to finish off that kill, but not going to get it. Claudius actually also gets eliminated last round as well. I wonder if he ran into Faye. I'm not quite sure, but whoever he ran into couldn't quite beat the Runans. Was not enough. 
So Clady, it's one of the one of the favorites tonight, going out in seventh place in game one. Yeah, we're gonna see the Zephyr tech out of Faye. Uh I personally am a big fan of Techie and Zephyrs in the late game. Uh I'm not sure I, I, how do you feel about Zephyr in general as an item? Like usually just a late game tech, or do you so, how do you usually feel about building the Zephyrs? Definitely a late game. I feel as though a few patches ago, uh, towards the you know inception of TFT, it might have been okay to build early on, but definitely it's more of a late game tech item now because some of those other early game items are way stronger. Uh, I wonder if uh, Zeus will be able to take out Faye here. Uh, no, probably not. Yeah, he does have those dragons, which are helping out against oh. the magic damage that Faye has. And oh my god, that voice of light Ooh. almost got the win, but Faye keeps her streak 17. That uh, true damage from Ari helping out quite a bit on the return. They did change that, correct? I'm not insane, right? Uh, the return I believe of the orb so. does do true damage, which did go through the, the dragon buff that Zeus had on his Aurelian soul and was able to pick up that kill. Yeah, and also the Morellos as well, the, one of those very strong items, yeah. being able to put in the extra burn damage to be able to make the difference. I wonder if Chishite rolls a Yasuo 2 here, if he'll, if he'll actually want to uh, move that one in. He has four Rangers, goes to level 8, and puts in a Yasuo 1, has two Knights there, so the Poppy wouldn't make too much of a difference. That Aatrox, though, giving Demon, and it's a Sorcerer. I wonder if that's really the frontline that he needs here, if he should have gone for Guardians instead. Goes uh, that that is a uh, guardian angel on. Oh, the guardian buff. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah. he gone for guardian buff. That might have helped a lot. But right now, he's still looking strong. He's gonna deal a lot of damage here. Almost. Oh, does take does out take TXN. Out. Oh, wow. that was. I was not expecting him to die there, but he is gonna fall, and that's gonna put him right out of range of points. Yeah, huge. Hey, uh, looking falls really strong as well. So we're. Uh, wait, is that another one falling? Wait. Oh, <laughs> Satat. who did we lose? Satat was able Satat, to hold on! DXN and Yuj all die in the same round. We're yeah. actually already to our top three. Oh Faye's my gosh. still at 100%. That, that came out of nowhere. Insane. Yeah. Out of nowhere. And Satat, Satat was able to hold on in that round long enough to score, to get a point for the end of that game. He was able to score one point, getting fourth place. It's going to help out in the long run. Those points matter quite a bit. Every single one of them is going to matter. Oh, definitely. Oh, Zeus. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to see Zeus. Zeus going for that, uh, that sword to make a Shojins for the uh, Aurelian Soul. Zeus almost beat Faye's army uh, a couple of rounds ago, so I wonder if he's able to do it now. Goes for six sorcerers. I wonder if that's the tech. Yeah, Zeus' what army he needs? looks pretty strong. He does have those three items on his Aurelian Soul. Faye still has not been beat. Zeus going to go against the Phantom Army, so let's see if Faye is going to be able to kill off Jay, or if Jay's going to stay alive. I wonder. Looks like Jay versus Faye here. We've got the... I'm fighting it off. Now we're back onto the Phantom board here. Zeus should be able to clean this up easily with the six sorks. Definitely. Oh, and yeah, Faye going to be dealing a lot more damage to Jay here. He's he's doing his best. That wasn't the uh, the fight was still kind of close. A lot of low HP bars. The GA is still up on the Ari. Uh, Faye deciding to keep her items on Ari did not look for the Ari two to replace and switch to the Aurelian. Do you think that'll hurt her in the long run, or do you think it should be okay with just the overall strength she's had? I think she might find a Karthus too and move those items to the Karthus. I wonder. She's level nine right now, still with thirty gold and nineteen win streak. She's not lost at all this whole game she's gonna be looking to place her zephyr in an optimal position here uh, i'm not sure if Faye will lose any hp here she's keeping her gold though she's not rolling it all down because she knows that she has such a lead right now that she doesn't have to all right and unfortunately jay is gonna run into her again we're gonna see if Faye's gonna still be able to do a lot of damage looking at that Aureli and waiting for those voice of lights but they're already so low Oh, the the Kindle does go off. Can that be enough with the Rangers trying to hit? I don't think it's going to be. We get maybe a couple of freezes from Ash. No, the Voice of Light's going to come across, and that's going to be enough damage to take them down. Jay's still staying alive, though. He's still got a chance. We're going to see what items they're going to get off of this dragon, see if it can make a difference. Faye picking up a Ginsu's, which is pretty good. Maybe not the best item she could get, but definitely not one she's too upset about. Yeah, see Guardian's Angel here by Jay Shrite. Now that is one of the best items I believe that you can get, uh, especially putting it on maybe a Sejuani, um, because if Sejuani ends up actually dying, or a Kindred, and they can just come back and cast their ultimates, both which would help immensely in securing the fight uh, win. 
Yeah, and Zoo's gonna be finding that uh, Hextech Gunblade. Uh, didn't see any units of his that that was particularly great on, but the, it's a stat stick for him, as well as uh, maybe that extra heal can help out a little bit for uh, maybe the Shivana. Perhaps. I wouldn't mind it on Karthos as well. It gives him a little bit of extra ability power, as well as maybe if he's low channeling his ultimate, he'd end up getting that heal. If the cast completes... Uh, a lot of players looking for that Karthus uh, 2 right now, one of the most strong units, especially into the late game. Uh, and Faye found it! Faye's the one who finds it. Yeah. It looks like she probably will be selling that Ari off and putting that on the Karthus in just a second here. Yep, there it goes. Look what else she finds here. A Cho'Gath! Oh, <laughs> now she sells no. both of her carries and is going to be replacing all of those items. <laughs> Uh, the fact and that she has a kill too. Wait, I didn't notice that. I did not notice when she picked up that kill too. Oh my god, Faze board is disgusting. She's definitely perfect gaming this. I have no doubt. There's that card that's all gonna go down on top of the team of zoos. The Aurelian Soul trying its best, gonna put out a lot of damage. The GA's all procking. We're gonna uh. see those Kale ultimates trying to keep them alive, but the voice of light coming out. One more Cho'Gath rupture. Gonna be a lot closer than I expected, but Faze. <laughs> Lord, it's disgusting. It's so gross. I'm actually impressed that Zeus's army was able to take her down to <laughs> two units, the Kale being one of the last ones. Uh, very, very surprised, but that really Soul putting in work, uh, as I talked about earlier, that counter tech with the Shivana to give Aurelian Soul and Shivana the that dragon bonus really paid dividends there. J Street Day trying to hold on. I'm not sure if his army is gonna be able to beat either to the remaining opponents has 13 gold left thinks that positioning is more important than rolling yeah. here right Runs now he was just Faye. hoping that he doesn't run into Faye and that zeus would die first but it seems like he's gonna run into Faye, and we're gonna see this karthas all land down killing almost the entire board kindred gonna get the ultimate off trying to kill as many units as they can to see if jay can stay alive but it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to do that and Faye's gonna kill him off jay's gonna go out in third place here still getting two points for this match still gonna be adding up over time he does not look pleased with the high rolls from Faye. no oh, he saw the no. mouse scroll over the cart this two with the three items <laughs> shaking his head he says how can i beat that i can't just had to hope that uh, he was able to run into a clone and that wasn't the case so Faye probably oh, taking denial. first place here i wonder Faye picks up another Karthus, denying it away from Zeus as he's trying to find that Karthus too, trying to help himself out. But I don't think anything will be enough. Faye might be taking a victory lap with 35 gold in the bank as she runs into Zeus yet again. Zeus has a little bit of HP to work with, and the way it went last time, he may not die straight up. But he wait, did he? Oh no 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 no! That, wait, he did. He did second. find the Karthus too. Oh, he did. Zeus found wow. it as well. I wonder if that can make a difference here. Faye's going to no be able items. to get her Karthus ult first, but his Karthus is going to land down. It Ooh. died. It didn't get the cast. It died before it could cast. Be yeah, can the Aurelian get one more Voice Ooh. of Light? It does get one kill, but... Okay. Yeah, he will the last hang kill on. was important. He will hang on. His Karthus 2 did not get to go off. Very unfortunate there for Zeus. Yeah, I'd really be curious to take a take a look at, at Zeus's board after this carousel round because if he can get some items in that Karthus too, that might be his key to I don't know about winning, but at least taking some HP off of Faye here. Uh, yeah, I didn't the like that look on Zeus's face. He didn't look happy about that carousel. No completed items on no. this late game carousel for him to try and grab. Just gonna be able to pick up a tier, probably throw that onto his Karthus just to help as much as he can. But he's in dire straits here against Faye, still at 100 HP, marching towards a perfect game in our first match of Fight Night. Karthus has a tier now. He's going to be ulting a little bit faster. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I wonder if it's enough to make a difference. Oh, it's actually, the Blitzcrank is going to hook oh! the Karthus. Mispositioning there by Zeus. The knock up and the Karthus ult's gonna kill oh, it right no. away. The Cho'Gath though, able to get a bunch of kills there. Very good. Phase Cho'Gath doesn't do quite as much. And the Voice of Light! Could it be enough? It, it actually is. is! The Voice of Light again! Zeus takes the kill and Faye won't get her perfect game in the first round. Zeus is very happy about that one. Starting the comeback. Don't call it a comeback. He's coming for it. Gonna have to be chunking through quite a bit of HP if he wants to come back. I don't think he has it in him, but I'd love to see it. 
but he takes the perfect game away from Faye, not gonna let her have it. Zeus was still smiling, you know, a few seconds after that round is over. <laughs> oh man, I, I guess it worked out. I thought that Karthus being pulled by Blitzcrank would spell his demise, but the Rallian Soul and the Cho'Gath being able to provide so much damage there. Let's yeah, see it again. Let's go to Vigar this time, so we're going to be able to see that Karthus maybe get its alt off in time. The first Karthus goes. Here's Zeus's Karthus. Will it go off? It does go off this time, but the Kale being able to keep a lot of members alive. One more Voice of Light going to send her into GA. It looks like Faye will win this round, unless we're going to see the one more of Voice what? of Light. It goes off. The Kale stays alive. The Shrink, I think the Shrink went off before and was able to prevent a little bit of that damage from the Aurelian Soul, and that's going to secure a round one win for Faye. She's looking good, trying to she, hold on to that title. That she is. I, you know, sometimes in T-Fight Tactics, I'm not going to say she just high-rolled this game. I mean, she did have a very, very good start. I wonder if she'll be able to, you know, carry that momentum, carry that into game number two and three and four. We will see. But yeah, as you spoke about, I wanted to touch upon that shrink, that 20% chance actually made the Aurelian Soul not be able to do enough damage to win that round. Otherwise, we would have still been going in that game. But congratulations to Faye. She's able to take game number one as we pull up the scores here. She now has four points in the lead. Zeus, however, trailing not too far behind with three. Jay Shrite with two. And Satat managing to secure that one point from the, those three players dying in that same round. He'll be feeling good about that one. Yeah, absolutely. Feeling good about getting any points here with this format. As 5th to 8th, you get zero points. So every point's going to count because each time the people who are ahead of you could score a fat goose egg there. As And, you know, reminded me, we see Workhorse with that big cheer of a thousand in the chat for the Faye win. As he did call out, he's Team Faye for this uh, fight night. Every time she wins, he'll be dropping 1,000 biddies. Make sure we see everybody else getting some bits out for these players. Make sure we increase the prizing that they'll be getting at the end of the night with all these bits. Uh, but thank you guys, everyone who is cheering. We love to see that. And uh, honestly, I'm ready to get into game two. What, what do you think, Ron? I am. That was an exciting game number one. We're of course up the 1K bits. Make sure to support our players to be dropping those bits throughout the night. We have a few more games to go, but who are you thinking for game two? Will Faye keep it going? Or will somebody else challenge her? You know, we didn't have enough faith in Faye at the start of the night, but she uh, definitely proved us wrong with that game there. Definitely a high roll, but overall uh, executed really well in order to keep her HP that high the entire time. I'm mm -hmm. sticking with my Dark Horse pick. I think Zeus, he got second in that round. I'm excited to see what he can keep doing throughout this. A fellow goon of ours, you know, we'll see what he can do. Indeed, now that dark horse pick of yours, he was able to pretty, you know, uh, confidently get into that top two. Now, phase comp was super strong, but he was able to take out uh, everybody else. So uh, I think that he will be doing pretty good here. We see the starts. We saw Faye actually grab a bow, so maybe another static shiv in her near future. Yeah, constantly, uh, constantly finding those those static shivs has been kind of her mo in these uh, fight night matches. And uh, if she can find it yet again, it might give her that early start, get her win streaking again so that she can uh, transition maybe yet another win. Zeus starting with a bow as well. He may be looking for the same kind of start. Yeah, now Zeus has spoken to me before about liking to pick up uh, Lucian specifically from the carousel because there's a lot of strong items like Ludens and Static Shiv that are pretty good on Lucian early. And if you're able to find Nobles to pair with that, that's a pretty good early game start. So I don't think he'll be selling it off unless he finds something that he really wants to pick up. We will see yeah, that. If he's finding his preferred way to play, that could lead to some comfort and allow him to uh, definitely be playing pretty optimally for himself. Uh, maybe allow him to get that early win streak and uh, kind of carry that through. Always looking for those early win streaks to be happening, as it does give quite a huge advantage in this meta. Indeed, it does. Now, Satat is uh, probably going to make that Morello's. Deciding to hold on now, maybe he'll get some other items that he wants, but. That Ari, you know, that's the same Ari that carried Faye to a near flawless first place. So maybe he'll be looking for a similar strategy here with that Morello's Ari. Yeah. Ionic Spark is the other option. Which would you prefer early game? Because Morello's does seem like a generally very strong item throughout the entire game. While Ionic Spark is more of a early game winning item. It can definitely win you a lot of rounds. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you, do you have a preference there? 
It's very close, but I feel like I almost would prefer Ionic Spark. But just having that Morello's, even if you take a little bit of damage early because you're not having that set or that uh, Ionic Spark helping you out, having that going into the mid and late game is going to be so strong. So I wouldn't fault someone for building it right now. Honestly, it could be either way depending on their playstyle. For sure. We see Claudius picks up an early uh, tier 2 Cassidin. He's got the Knight bonus as well, has a Mordekaiser on the bench. Uh, Brawler as well, getting that Blitzcrank, holding on to that, seeing if he can pick up a couple more, maybe find the Rek'Sai. Yeah, indeed, we will see, picking up a couple of items here, a Guardian's Angel potential, so I think he'll be looking to probably make that. A couple more, uh, couple more Knights as well as finding that Vein. Another Blitzcrank, if he can get that early Blitzcrank too, as you know, <laughs> my preferred playstyle is, uh, is Blitzcrank, Blitzcrank, but Blitzcrank and early, more Blitzcrank. Early Early Blitzcrank 2 is actually a very strong unit. The hook damage is incredibly high from that scaling from level yeah. 1 to level 2 and can help you with those early win streaks by quite a bit. I believe it goes from 100 damage to 450. Yeah. From yes. It essentially goes from tickling yeah. someone to literally one shotting one of your units at the start of the round. <laughs> yeah. So. It makes a Guardian's Angel tank vein here. Interesting decision. I wonder if it'll work out. Let me see Zeus with a. Uh... Oh, just scouting there. Didn't have the rapid fire cast in Yeah, himself. that was phase board actually. Yeah. Rapid fire cannon and a GA on the cast in Faye. Mm hmm Now this tank vein's working out for, for Gladius here. Revives and can only be able to take out Zeus's army flawlessly here. Let's see what he transitions into later. Zeus is also not opting for the cannon here. Yeah, holding oh, off seems as though the Elementalists have pretty much fallen out of the meta. I'm, I haven't seen them a lot at all recently. No, uh, is that just due to the nerfs or more the buffs of everything else? I think it's a little bit of a combination of both. I think Daisy, you know, used as one of those strong frontliners, if you have Elementalists, uh, getting her HP buff, or nerf, sorry, a couple of times in a row, is going to be enough to have it not be the option of choice here by a lot of players. Yeah, we see well, there's a lot of pairs. A lot yeah. of pairs here. Able to find uh, one of them. Able to find that uh, that tier two Warwick has the tier two Mordekaiser as well. Indeed. Now, uh, I wonder if it'll be enough to <laughs> fight the Guardian's Angel Rapid Fire Cannon Cassidy. It's only tier one. It is only tier one. The Warwick goes off. <laughs> <laughs> the tier one, we're going to see what's going to happen with it. It's constantly stopping the Mordekaiser from getting his ult off. Now it's on the Darius, but it looks like with yeah. this Nidalee and Warwick on it, it's going to be a little bit rougher. The only damage unit that Faze got right now is that tier one Lucian left. So does look like she'll end up losing this round here. Yeah, Think not able to get Warwick? a kill fast enough. Yeah. It almost actually went the time. There was four seconds left about, so if that Kazan was tier two, it might have actually been able to win the round. See Satat here. Made the Ionic Spark, decided to go into that one. Decided to choose that over the Morellos. I think it's a pretty good choice. Let's see what else he decides to go into here. A lot of options on the bench. A poppy in the shop. Yeah, could going go for Yodels. That early game strength versus the late game strength of Morellos, but he is still sitting in last place. Lost yeah. a decent amount of HP, but hopefully that iron Ionic Spark will help him out uh, right now in trying to stabilize so he can move into his later game comps. Looking at maybe picking up that Poppy, though. He was hovering it there for a second. Yeah. Yeah, going to go for that Yordle. He decided to do it. As well. Now, three Yordles is pretty good in this meta, especially if you complement it with Sorcerers. I mean, Lulu and Vyga are already two Sorcerers, so it's pretty easy to fit a Poppy in there as well. If you get it to Tier 2, Poppy Ultimate will do a bunch of damage. Actually, he's able to take out uh, DXN here, so not going to be last place anymore, I believe. That Ionic Spark doing a lot of work there. Yeah, Ionic Spark able to help him out. Zeus has dropped down to 81 HP, putting him in last place. DXN right behind him. Yeah. Or in front of him, I should say. Faye here, not able to do another near perfect game. Going to drop down to 88 HP here. I wonder what she'll be looking for in the carousel here. We see a Shivana with a bow being picked up by DXN. Yeah, we see a couple tiers. I don't know if she did complete that item. No, she did. The rapid fire cannon came out of that bow initially. Indeed. I'm not sure if she has anything on her bench yet. So we'll see what she picks up. I expect the tier of the bow. We get the tier. Yeah. Was Indeed. a $1 bow maybe made it less appealing? Yeah, generally, I definitely like uh, taking the higher cost units on this if you know the item is right. But if I'm deciding between two items, 
I'm generally going to take the higher cost unit as it'll help you gain more economy into this very important stage, uh, you know, next to the Krugs. You want to be generating enough gold to be able to level up comfortably without spending too much. Yeah, it looked like she's going to just hold on to that tier. Sells off the Ash right away, of course, trying to get the gold. We see a tier picked up by Gladius as well. Indeed. He's got this Lissandra on the bench. Now, interestingly enough, that tank vein is helping Claudius remain at 100% HP here. Does also have a couple of other uh, tier 2 units. Finds the tier 2 Ari. That's something that we saw have great success last game, and it will probably help him stay at 100% here. Yeah, and he does have this tier. If he can find a bow on Krugs, that'll get him that static shiv, help him con continue to maintain his uh, early lead. Yeah, I wouldn't even mind building a Ludens as well. It'll probably fall off a little bit around maybe Wolves, but if he finds it on Krugs, I would probably make that item, especially since it seems like he's going Sorcerers here, or at least has the option for it. Yeah, for mm. sure. Tank Fane, that's an interesting one. It's not one I've really seen utilized maybe ever. I haven't necessarily seen that uh, myself, not that I can think of. Uh, but yeah, as you said, keeping himself at 100%, we'll see if he can kind of replicate phase dominance in the previous match it is possible sitting on a static shiv vein of his own with the ranger buff yeah two rangers two knights not the worst start here he's towards the bottom of the pack here uh, in terms of hp but he's been able to hold on for a bit with that warwick as well uh benefiting from that knight buff being able to tank for those rangers see guardians angel pike here out of satat i believe Oh, sorry, it is Blevins, not Satant. Yeah, and the Guardian Angel Pike's going to proc. He will charge immediately after that. What? He walked into like a perfect <laughs> position to line up the triple stun there. This oh. Pike piloted by Faker, actually. I think so. Almost Vane. wins the round for Blevins. Yeah. But he does still fall into the static shift vein at the end. <laughs> Interesting. You know, the Pike really trying to make moves for Blevins there. Trying to uh, carry that fight for him, but not able to do it. Almost. Uh, oh, that is a Guardian's Angel uh, Rapid Fire Cannon Draven there that uh, took Zeus down to last place. He's able to find a couple of upgrades here. Maybe looking to go into a Draven of his own if he finds one. I mean, he's got the item setting up for it. Got Rapid Fire Cannon, got the uh, BF yeah. Sword. Yeah, BF Sword for either a Guardian's Angel, but most likely a Bloodthirster. So we see a lot of Draven players will play. Jay Shrite, uh, he's sitting at a comfortable HP number right now. He has Guardians as well, which are pretty good in the early game. As soon as you're able to find that Leona, they generally do very, very well. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty early pickup of uh, Guardians there to have. So that, that's definitely going to be nice. Uh, that armor is definitely going to be scaling very hard at this point in the game. Uh, and there, we've seen a bunch of Ranger comps, so could be pretty good into all of those. I think he's hoping to find something to replace this uh, Fiora pretty soon, but he does have Definitely. the Noble buff from it right now. So that is, that is, uh, a... that is helping uh, his overall strength. Yeah, now he does pick up a second bladed item, so didn't have a lot of items to start off with, but is able to uh, do his best nonetheless. Now, Guardians are good versus Rangers. They're also good against Draven comps as well. You saw him probably pick up that Sejuani there. Wondering what he'll do with that. Uh, Cladius, 100% HP, does find uh, the Rod, wants to make a Ionic Spark, as opposed to a Ludens, because this is the point where Ludens starts becoming a little bit less effective. Um, and Ionic Spark will be good throughout the whole game here. Facing Blev and <laughs> that Pike. We'll see if the Pike is able to uh, pull some Faker play, Faker tier moves off this fight. Yeah, it looks like uh, it does get a big stun, but I don't think it's going to matter. Gladius is looking mighty fine right now with his composition. That Ari is pretty stacked. Going to keep doing a lot of damage here to a lot of players. No one wants to run into the path of Gladius right now. Huge with pretty good HP, going to continue winning. Zeus on this losing streak, losing a lot of HP. We'll see if he can recover. He's at 55 already. <laughs> Being at 55 at this point in the game, you're definitely feeling the pressure. He's low gold as well. He's trying to roll into something. Ends up picking up a tier 2 Zed to try to help him out here. I don't know yeah, if that's going to be enough, can, though. What he's looking for is that tier 2 Rengar yeah. for the mid-game Rengar carry, trying to 
stabilize the game with it to get yeah. himself to a point where he can start coming back. But he needs that third assassin to go with the wild. And then he needs the T2 because T1 Rengar is definitely not going to cut it. Uh, I feel like even the T1 Rengar might be better than Lucian right now. He's trying to decide. Yeah, he does agree. Puts those couple of items on the Rengar. But facing DXN here with two Rangers and four Knights. I don't know if he'll have enough damage to take down those Knights. Yeah, the Knights are definitely preventing this Rengar from looking like it's doing much of anything. Uh, it's going to try and do what it can, but it's going to proc the Guardian Angel already. And that Vayne's pumping out quite a bit of damage. Maybe the Rengar can finish the kill. No, it turned and started hitting the Garen. Nidalee might be able... No, it's probably not going to be enough with the Vayne staying alive, putting out too much pressure with that Static Shiv and the Red Buff. It was close, but not quite good enough. Really needs to find that 2-2 Rengar right now. Uh, being in Blevins, being offered three Volibears. Now... As we see here, he's going Gunslingers. I wonder if those Gunslingers will be able to carry him. He doesn't have great items, though, for them. You generally want to see some on-hit effect items, such as a Hush, or a Red Buff, or a Cursed Blade, but has a Vest and a Guardian's Angel instead, so not really what he's looking for here. A low item roll game by a lot of players this game, actually. Yeah, he's really not hanging on to much. <laughs> He's no. got a. He does have the ability to make a disarm item. Uh, could help him out trying to stabilize because he's rolling on a lot of low HP here. He's got that tier three graves. He could maybe put it on. Um, see if he can win a couple of rounds. It looks like he can still beat Zeus, who did not find his Rengar yet. Still, no. And unfortunately, his Rengar picks to hit the pike instead of the gangplank, so he's going to take a little bit of extra damage off of that as well. Yeah, I think Blevins might be holding out for a red buff, perhaps, or a hush, either or. Both are good items. We'll see what he decides to pick up as we are going into the carousel round now. And uh, Zeus, however, will have first pick. I wonder what item he wants to be able to try to make a comeback here. What do you think he needs? Does he keep itemizing towards finding this Draven eventually, or this carry Rankar? It's pretty tough in his bow. situation. Yeah, I'm sure he was hoping for a Draven on that carousel there. Unfortunately, did not find one. Uh, we also see a Aurelian Soul with a bow there being picked up. Now, that's going to be quite a strong pickup if they are indeed going for Sorcerers. Let's see the last player is choosing what they want. Yuge getting the Evelyn with the Rod, picking last. Didn't seem like he was too happy about that when he kind of let the unit just walk into him there. <laughs> Didn't run towards it. No, Faye, it doesn't however. seem like he found the item he wanted. Faye gonna get the Mordekaiser and get that night buff. Yeah. Hoping she, she can find a Karthus later for the Sorcerer and the Phantom Synergy. Yeah, perhaps. Also, Bronze to fit in that uh, Blade Master, but I'm not sure she'll be able to do that quite yet. Zeus picks up the tier 2 Rengar, has Grabs three that assassins. Third assassin, yeah. Yeah, has the Sejuani tier 2 as well, actually. That that bow that he picked up uh, actually just made the oh. Sejuani 2. He felt as though yeah. that was the best thing he could have done there. Uh, I, kind, I think I uh, agree with that play here. I think just getting that yeah. that instant power spike of having that tier 2 Sejuani uh, is probably very important for him. He's against Cladius, and he's actually doing pretty well into Cladius, who hasn't taken any damage yet. I yeah. don't think he's going to win the round still, but... It's definitely going to be a lot closer than you would expect. The last place going into Claudius, maybe. Oh, oh no, it jumped into the uh, pullback from the Orb of Deception there, taking some damage. It would have killed uh, Arya if it had landed its auto attack there. So he's yeah. almost taking down Claudius. So he does seem to be a lot stronger after that pickup. If he's oh, able definitely. to contend with Claudius. Claudius sold 100% HP. Uh, it's going to be... a. a quite an ordeal for any player to take him out right now but the fact that zeus is able to means that he probably will beat every other player perhaps most other players we will see and claudius has a rod doesn't quite want to build that ludens wants to save those items this is around the point where ludens does fall off finds a cho'gath though place oh, mordekaiser geez. oh maybe that's four brawlers he decides to go with brawlers. the four brawlers i think i like that right now i think i like the beefy front line as Ari just tries to damage through everything else. We see Blitzcrank is going to do a lot of damage with his pulls, as we talked about earlier. Yeah, it's like over 500 damage for that Blitzcrank pull there. Um, and Ari being able to deal the finishing blow. Yeah, that's a tier 3 vein on Yuge, though, with a yeah. hush. Uh, but it doesn't seem like uh, she's getting through all this beef that Claudia's put in front of her here. 
Not quite. I think actually you might be looking for a Runan's Hurricane. I can't really think of anything else or any other reason why he would build the Hush on the Vein there, seeing as she doesn't utilize the mana. But if he gets a Runan's, he'll be able to proc not only the Hush, but the Silver Bolts on the Vein actually to deal a bunch of damage. So I wonder if we'll see that in the future. Seems like you were right. Blevins does end up picking that red buff on the Graves. Gonna be getting that extra damage from that Gunslinger. Indeed. Still does not have a tier 2 Gangplank even though, not a tier 3 Tristana. Needs to keep on rolling to try to find those upgrades, seeing as those are the only things that Gunslingers really have going for them, are getting early tier 3 units. He keeps rolling indeed. Very close on the Tristana though. There's the Gang GP. Plank. There's Yeah, he found it. So that'll be, that's a big buff up for him. Tier 2 gate GP, definitely a big help. Uh, he does need two more Tristanas for the tier 3 Trist. Yeah, I think that a tier 1 Gangplank will almost never be able to get his ultimate off, but tier 2 just might. Uh, Faye has a lot of options here in terms of items. Maybe can make a Sorcerer, a Glacial, or a Demon. Or can use the Spatula for neither, maybe save for a Force of Nature. Not close to a Draven 2, however, just a Draven 1 right now. Check back in with Jay Shrita here with the two Rangers, two Knights, and two Guardians. It's at 58 HP, he's riding middle of the pack right now. Not uh, as, you know, in a dire situation as Zeus, but he'll definitely need to pick up upgrades soon. Yeah, the triple item Ash. He's gonna run into Cladius, that's definitely not what you want to see. Yeah, no. the Blitzcrank one-shotting his Varus in the back. <laughs> I love to see it. It's my favorite thing in this game is just watching Blitzcrank one-shot people. But, I'm sure that gave you so much joy. Oh to see my that. god, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> but Cladius... No. Jay is not happy right now. Looking at running into Cladius. Bad RNG for his part to run into the first place person. His Ash trying to uh, help him as oh. much as she can. Oh my gosh! Is that Across the GA. I don't think not so. Not going to be able to no. do it, but, but he's... Overall, if you're Jay, you're happy with that. You'll take a, a small amount of damage going into Cladius. It was looking really rough at the start of that, but it, as Ash was able to turn it around a bit, and he he's able that to save a lot of HP. Varus. I think if it had tier 2 Varus to start that fight off, the Varus wouldn't have got one shot, and he might have won, but he wasn't <laughs> going to pick that up until this round. Satant here with an Aurelian Soul, too. That's a pretty big pickup at this point in the game. Also has Guardians, three Sorcerers. Yeah. Kale not doing too much there besides just benefiting from the Guardian buff and shielding with her ultimate. But I wonder what he'll be able to transition into. Yeah, I probably would consider making the Hush here. It is a fairly early pickup of the Kale, so we'll see if he can lead into potentially a Kale 2 at some point this game, having one already fairly early on. Oh. But he is quite low, so we'll Tether. see if this Aurelian Soul can hold on. The Aurelian Soul only actually hit one unit there with that first Voice of Light. I wonder what the second one will hit. Okay, that was better. Oh, is but they're enough, just... Though? The Sichuani gets the ult off. The Voice of Light! Oh, Umbrella. it only hit the one! And the Sichuani stays alive. Able Ooh. to finish off that kill. attack. gonna lose a little bit more HP. He's down in a lot to, of trouble right now. Yeah, down to 25, I believe, here. Oh, man. It just wasn't enough. That Ryan Soul ultimate hit more than one target on the first one. He definitely would have won that. But yeah. Gotta be a little bit disappointed about that one. Overall, you're still not too upset because you do know that you would have won if it didn't hit just a single unit. So you know your power level is in an okay spot. Yeah. And you just gotta hope for a little bit better. Maybe maybe look at a reposition if you feel that is necessary. Or just hope for a little bit better RNG, but he might think he's stabilized a little bit with the upgrades. Indeed. Uh, Faye versus Zeus. Zeus, uh, it looks like his HP hasn't been dropping too much recently. No, he's able to stabilize. Twenty ultimate. We're going to see Rengar pumping out a lot of damage Ooh. here, going on to the Draven, they're going to proc the GA, and it looks like Zeus will win this round. Yeah, that's still a tier 1 Draven, not able to output enough damage that Rengar topping the damage shards for Zeus there. He's thinking about the Hush, maybe? I might consider doing that, but it seems he has stabilized for now. But also still his first pick in the carousel, Cladius leading the charge was... Did drop from 100 HP, so some player was able to beat Claudius's army. Didn't scale quite as impressively as Faye was able to in game one, but still sitting at a very comfortable number. Yeah, there was a full demon item on there. We'll see yeah. if anybody wants to pick that one up. Looks like DXN will. DXN. <laughs> I'll be looking at that item for a Kindred. If anyone's running Rangers this game, I think giving Kindred 40 mana and having her synergize with Varus with the two demons, 
is really, really powerful. So I wonder if DXN's running Rangers. I don't quite recall what exactly his composition is. Yeah, especially with after. Rangers getting their, their bonus, obviously, being increased attack speed, having mm -hmm. a on-hit chance to drain mana on things that attack quickly is obviously going to be your best bet. So, so Kindred with it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we saw Claudius there pick up a couple of Rek'Sai's there. Pretty good roll on his part. Blevins one Tristana away. Ah, uh, doesn't end up picking up the Lucians. Just looking for that Trist. I wonder if he'll be able to find it. Has to start selling it. off some of these other units. And rolling another Lucian. Probably pass it up. He another did find Lucian. A Oh no, he had a couple Lucians earlier, but he sold them off yeah. to try and commit for the Tristana, and he's finding them all over again. He's one Blademaster off of having the Blademasters, though he does have the Tristana as a Blademaster already. Oh, Graves and GP putting in work. Yeah. Oh, the free. Yeah, and that's going to be fun. enough for Jay to win that round. Yeah, those Rangers putting in the work. I feel like if Blevins had the uh, Tier 3 Trist, might have been able to do it. He has another Blade Master right there. I wonder if he should put in Blade Master instead. I, I think probably so. We'll see if he ends up doing that later on. We see Satan with another tier 2 Ari. Probably going to go for the tier 3 here. But sitting at 11 HP, maybe he won't be able to find it in time. I wonder. Yeah, probably not finding Aurelian Soul 3 with 11 HP unless he's looking to maybe get a second Aurelian Soul 2 and put it in with the Dragon Synergy he has as well. Uh, potentially it would be better than that Kale 1 right now. Yeah. Um, I just think the tier it one Shivana so far needs to find these upgrades. Tier two Shivana, tier two Leona could be a huge help for Zatat right now. I think Leona I even would say. consider putting in that Brahmin over the Kale right now. I mean, Kale doing a little bit of work here, but it's enough. We're gonna see another Voice of Light is going to proc that GA. We'll see if it can get another one off right here. Oof. Going to put him really low from Faye there as the Draven's able to pick up that kill. Ah, uh, yeah, I think if the Braum was in some of the kill there, I think Stop might be able to win that with as much armor as that would give. Every single Guardian will independently give 50 armor to the units that are adjacent to it. Wonder how long it'll hold on for. He still did not make that hush, so he's praying to get items from the Raptors here. That will save him. Day Street Day scouting out other armies here, looking at Cladius at first place still. He's trying to figure out how exactly to beat his army. We see a Lissandra here. That's interesting. I wonder why he decided to build that. Yeah, Claudius not getting any points in the first uh, game. Really looking to get a first place here in order to kind of bring himself back into this. That'll oh, be definitely. huge for him. And he does. He's been holding this lead the whole game, and uh, we'll see if he can keep hanging on to it. Yeah, J Street Day sitting at third right now. Gets a couple of items. Alex like Spark. I would probably build it. It's still good going to the late game. I, I know I might have wanted another item, but I'm not. I wouldn't be unhappy about that. I just want to yeah, put it on his Varus. Yeah. yeah, that's where it's going to go. It looks like just to give him a little extra oomph right now going into these next few rounds. Satad does find the tier 2 Leona. Tier 2 Braum, as you said, that might be good to put in instead of this, uh, this Kale. It's helped a little bit. But the tier 1 kill, overall, probably not as effective. Yeah, I don't think so. But uh, we see uh, Satad face up against Zeus here. They're both so low. I believe one oh, of them will the probably Leona die lands here. onto the Karthus, and yeah. the Voice of Light comes across. But that show oh. gap! Disgusting damage, and that's going to be Satad going out of the game right there. Tier 2 Chogath is no joke, as we saw there. The top being elim eliminated in eighth place. Unlucky, no points there. But Zeus staying alive for now. Yeah, Zeus looked like he stabilized his comp quite a bit. Uh, he did, it does look like, has the tier two Cho'gath with the items that were on the Rengar. I would like to see his full comp now because it seems like he's fully transitioned out of what he was before. And we yeah. may see him start to kind of come back. He is at eight HP, which is going to be very difficult for him to make the comeback, but. If he has transitioned into a really solid composition, we might see him have a shot. Yeah, what think do you think? So. What are you what are you liking? Are you liking his odds with what he's got right now? I think he's so close to uh, you know Aurelian Soul 2 or Karthus 2. 
I'm not really liking it. It's a risk. He can win these rounds, but there's no guarantee in it for sure that Kindred Alt goes off. Uh, we're going to see the Cho'Gath. Will it time it well? It's going to come after oh, the Kindred. That's yeah. huge. And another Karthus Alt's going to land. He's going to... He's... He should have this. He should have this one. A couple freezes coming out of the... Uh, the Ash, but it should be okay for him overall. Yeah. We mm -hmm. will... Zeus staying alive. Hanging on. For now. I wonder if he'll be able to find one of those upgrades soon, because while he's hanging on, it will definitely end up getting outscaled very soon. Oh, Blevins dropping down to 3 HP, trying to find the upgrades. Yep. Gonna get a tier 2 Draven that will give him the Blade Master. That Tristana. I wonder if he wants oh. to sell this Trist. He does. Puts the Blade Master on Graves. Yeah, I like, I I like, like that. that. I, do. I like it a lot. He's, he's dead on this round, most likely. He had to do something, and maybe that'll be enough to... to Help him hold on for a little bit longer. Swaps out the pike for yeah. another blade master. No pirates, but at this point you don't need gold. You just need to live right oh, now. The graves got phantom. Phantom. Can Blevins hold on? The graves is still alive with Not the J proc, longer. but no, no. Blevins is definitely gonna go down here. Goes down. Oh, you leave. hate to see that phantom if you're Blevins. You really do. Sue's dying. Oh, not quite. At 2 HP left. Must Can be he glad hang on that for only... top 4? Yeah, that's I don't all, know. That's all he wants. He's got to outlive two more people. It's going to be close. DXN low as well. Zeus deciding what he wants. Picks up the Kindred with the Rod. You know, there's a uh, Swain with a Spatula there. It seems like Spatulas are not going to be what these players want. At least these lower HP players, probably the higher HP players will decide for one. Yeah, Claudius running towards it. No. The spatulas are not the items of choice right now. People just want to be strong with whatever items they can build. Ends up making a uh, bloodthirster like there. Fave might have gone for a Zephyr after that. She did have the components for that. Uh, DXN. For Draven, yeah. Pretty low. <laughs> Dick says, what do, I, what do I make here? Frozen Heart, no, don't want that one. Probably Static Shiv. It was built. And the you, you, was just build, you just build the locket, right? Like, you just have to. Yeah, you do. I would have liked to probably... I probably would have liked to see get a little bit more locket value out of that. Hitting more than just one target. But such oh, getting hushed. Oh, lands. oh, that's a tier 2 card that's from Zeus. Zeus found it! it. Wait! Zeus is definitely going to beat DXN here. Yeah. DXN trying to run away, but I don't think he realizes that running away doesn't matter because he's fighting the only other person that could die. Uh, maybe. The tier uh, 2 Karthus, that could be it. He could come back and get that top 4. He could claw his way back from the bottom. Found the Relian Soul as well. It's definitely possible. 2 HP, but his comp is very, very strong. Uh, I think the only thing that might be able to beat him right now is a Phantom proc. But I'm not actually sure even that would be able to do it with the Cho'Gath. Other yeah, he's got a couple uh, threats. As well. yeah. He's got the Cho'Gath, the Aurelian Soul, and the Karthus. The Aurelian Soul being no items makes it less but less of a threat, but it's still strong. It's yeah. still, like, if it gets that Voice of Light off, it's going to be a lot of damage. The only other thing I would like to see here is Faye. that Morello's maybe on the Karthus, but Phantom lands on the Darius. There's the first Karthus, Karthus ulti coming down. Oh. The Draven, so scary, but that's a huge voice of light and a rupture, but the Draven! The Draven might be too much. He's gotta get the rupture. It's gonna no. be too much. No, Zeus is gonna die. The Draven couldn't get focused down in time. Oh, it's so rough for Zeus. Yeah. Falling out in fifth place, not gonna get any points this time, and Faye keeping steady. Gonna score some more points this time around, and honestly, this is a really scary Draven. She's contending yeah. for yet another. F She's in first currently. Definitely, Claudius has fallen to second. So Faye, you know, Faye proving why she was the week one champion. She might go for it two weeks in a row. We will see though. We see a hush on that board. We see a Seraphs here. I wonder who should put the Seraphs on. Maybe another Sejuani. Another one on the Sejuani rather. You know, I think Zeus might have been the second strongest person in this lobby right at that point. I think so. And I think Faye was the strongest. 
And so I'm worried for the rest of these people if they can't find their upgrades right now, because Faye's just going to pick up that Seraphs for probably Karthus? Or do you think it will go on someone else here until she can find that tier 2? <laughs> Looking at the, her, her side the side uh, synergy board here, she has seven synergies. Sorks, Blademasters, Demons, Glacials, Knights, Imperials, one Ninja. <laughs> I guess she could put on the Karthus because there is that Sork buff there. I didn't even notice that... Uh... Aatrox was also a Sork and a Glacial there, so so many synergies being run by Faye. That's probably one of the contributing factors to her being in the lead here, definitely. Yeah, a lot of strength where you wouldn't expect it in this comp. Indeed. And we're gonna see her go... Very impressive. Up against... Huge here. Huge here. Now that Rune Ends was built on the vein, the Silver Bolts being able to proc as well as the Hush, since when alt doesn't go off. Yeah, it does prevent the Sichuani ult. That's going to be a big Kindred ult. Yuge actually looking to win this pretty handedly. Faye's going to take a yeah. lot of damage here. As Yuge does finally get onto the Draven, the lifesteal is not going to be enough oh. overall, but it does help him will kill it? a couple more units. But oh, the Glacial face. will land down onto him and he's going to die. But Faye able to uh, get a couple more kills with that Draven. Keep her from taking too much damage while she keeps looking for these upgrades. Jay yeah. with a full... Uh, Glacial comp here. Well, three glacials right now. Full ranger comp. Indeed. Setting up to maybe get a couple more glacials here in on top of that. Has just a tier two Cho. Oh, Cladius? What is he going to put those items on? I wonder. Not quite sure. Guardian's Angel on the Cho'Gath. Okay, another Hush. And Ionic Spark. Doesn't have so a tier two just Aurelian. Go on the Aurelian? Decides to put it on those anyway. Doesn't have a tier two Vigar either. A little bit of a sloppy transition, maybe? Or maybe just unlucky not finding these units? I don't know. Faye might be able to take him out. Oh, huge Sejuani ultimate as well as the Karthus. It looks like the Draven will be able to be in the back and just pump out the damage. Oh, yeah. Well, Claudius went to trust. six Sorks here. And there are a lot more Aurelians in the pool with Zeus going down. Oh, Shrite might end up falling here. I wonder That's if it's a lot enough of damage. damage. Uh, it was yeah. exact, I believe. Did Shrite go out for fourth? Getting one point, though, that is important, but not being able to secure more here. Faye in the top three, Claudius, and Yuge as well. Zeus not being able to pick up any points here either, so I'll be curious to see the point breakdown after this game. But I wonder if Faye can hang on against nobles and against sorcerers. And then she has a mix of everything. <laughs> Which comp will prevail? Yeah, we're gonna have to see yeah. uh, up against Yuji yet again. Mm -hmm. uh, this vein definitely putting in a lot of work, landing those oh, yeah. hush silences. The reposition from Faye, I think, was really smart here, though, because she will get the 20 out to go off, but might not be enough. Doesn't really land on the target she wants. Draven huh. trying to live steal through, but looks oh, like man. he's gonna go down pretty soon. That vein. I like that vein a lot. I think that vein might end up being used taking the victory yeah. in this game. I wonder. I want to see Hayuge face against Claudius. I'm not sure who will win besides those two, but the Hush silencing two targets at once from just one unit is insane value. Yeah, deciding to put it on the vein, even though the mana gets no value, because Hurricane in general is just high value on the vein. So just another yeah. item that synergizes with the Hurricane. Oh, yeah. kind of, it does end up kind of making sense, just getting those Silver Bolts and the Silence out. It's putting out a lot of damage and keeping two Frontliners from using their uh, alts every time. Yeah, Clydes picks up a Guardian Angel here, I wonder who will... Oh, oh two Yasuos! Yasuo. I would put that in every time here. Take out the Lulu? Put the Guardian Angel on the Yasuo? Looks like he might. He's He's thinking about it! He's considering it! He is indeed. I wonder who will end up putting it on. He's doing it! <laughs> he does. <laughs> I think that's definitely the correct one. He, he's going to be fighting time. a phantom, so we're going back to the Fae versus Huge matchup yet again. Looking at these silences going on the Shen and the Darius, they're not going to be able to play the game yet at all. Yeah, this is not looking good for Fae. She finds that T2 Kale, but oh, the Ash Arrow. like it's going to be enough. It gets silenced now. The Vayne just... Trucking through, Faye gonna take a ton of damage here. Oh my! Oh about my god! About thirty-four to seven, I believe, approximately. There, that was that was a lot of damage there. Yeah, 
and uh, they looking at a reposition, but I don't see a reposition that beats huge here for her composition. She has to get the most value out of that Zeke's as she can. I'm not quite sure how that will be. How about the I'm just style? waiting for the Claudius versus huge because this sort composition may be able to do enough damage overall. But Yuge has pretty good positioning for playing into Ca Claudius, I feel. It's very yeah. split. Spread out. Okay, Claudius gets the clone here, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, we're back to Yuge versus Faye. Faye. I think Faye's going to fall here. I don't really see a world where she beats Yuge after all these fights. Yet again, all the procs from the Hush not allowing her front line to cast its abilities. Draven going to get frozen. The Sichuani yeah. ultimate still not being able to hit as many targets as she'd like because of Yuge's positioning. Yeah, it looks like Faye's going to go down in third here. Still getting a couple points, though, to tack on to her first place finish already. So she's happy with at least getting top four. Indeed. Not too shabby at all. I had to, unfortunately, face Yuge a few times in a row there. So a bit unfortunate. That's the game of teamfight tactics sometimes. Now we see Claudius have a sorcerer item available to him. And I probably just puts it on the Yasuo, I would think. Probably not going to put it on the Rek'Sai, and everything else is already a Sorcerer. Besides Cho'Gath, but Cho'Gath already has full items. That, that actually doesn't feel like too bad of a pickup for your T2 Yasuo to have the double mana coming from attacks. It's not maybe your favorite thing. I guess it allows you to maybe uh, shift away from one of the Sorcerers you have in into another just strong unit. That is very, very true. That is an excellent point. I wonder if he will end up doing that, replacing one of his other Sorcerers. Uh, if he even beats the Dragon... I think he's. I think he's got it. The Morellos. I think knock so. Up. It a got bit close. close for comfort, but you know he's, he's able to to finish it off. Oh, finding the Tirellian soul and the tier and three Lulu upgrades. Upgrade city from Cladius here. Uh, he may not actually want to get rid of any of the sorcerers that he's got in. He's got pretty strong units overall. Yeah. Could you make maybe... an argument for me the TF? Or do you uh, like that mana? That mana can be so big for yeah, a I... six sorcerer composition. I like the TF here. The thing that I like the least, however, I believe would be the Morgana. I don't see Morgana getting a lot of value in these fights. I'd be curious to see if I'm wrong, but... Yeah, I guess we'll see. He's going up against Yuge, of course, now, since Faye's out. Yuge got a lot of items on his bench right now. He's going to start putting those in. Yeah. yeah he does. Yeah, Morgana only ulting one target. Oh, the knockup's going to stop the uh, Karthasol from going off. That's huge. Yasuo's going to get frozen. One. Vayne staying alive, but the Karthus is going to land down. Vayne's going to probably fall here. The Noble buff. Can't heal uh, though because the Morello. Claudius going to be picking up that win over Yuge there. Going to see if he can keep that rolling, but he's got some good upgrades. We'll see if he can find uh, his next thing. Going to pick up that another T2 Cho'Gath. I would put in the Cho'Gath here every time over the Morgana. Over the Morgana. I would. would you pick up those uh, Sejuani's though and maybe try and go for a T2 Sedge? If I didn't already have the Cho'Gath, I would. Takes out the Karthus. Takes out the Karthus, actually. I don't dislike that. It's tier 1 Karthus, no items. Definitely, if he's able to tier 2 that, he would uh, put it back in again. But I don't dislike this. It's either Karthus or the Morgana. I probably would have taken out Morgana, but... Yeah, he does have his damage tracker, so maybe he realized, like noticed that his Morgana did a lot more previous Perhaps. fight. Only ulting the one target here with the Yasuo. Oh, the, the Cho'Gath... Cho did end up getting to chain. The silence Ooh. dropped for just a second, and the Cho'Gath gets to ult. Yasuo might be able to get another knockup here soon, but he is silenced another by that Cho. hush. Oh, so many. It's a bounce house here. Oh, doesn't get but that one, though. The vein staying alive. A little bit more damage. Oh, one. <laughs> yeah, This is a alive. close, close fight. The tier two Yasuo is going at it. It is one of these nail biter games yeah. where the slightest positioning changes, the smallest of upgrades, finding a 2-2 two -two Karthus, anything would make such a huge amount of uh, difference here. wonder if he'll keep the same position. Looks like Yuge was positioning a little bit differently. Yeah, yeah, it was a small shift from Yuge, I think. I think he just changed one or two units overall, so... though, just keeping that spread composition. Okay, bit of a large shift from Gladius there, two, moving two of the units to the opposite side. Maybe didn't want to uh, leave those near the Yasuo. Yeah, going to get a little bit less value out of any blue cards he gets, but he'll Cho. still be giving it to a couple. See if this Cho can get the Cho gets the knockup off the silence drops again mm. for just a little bit. The Yasuo might be looking for a big knockup here, but it silenced that hush putting in so much work for huge. 
That reposition was not what Cladius wanted oh, there. A lot of damage on a Cladius. Fortunate down to 17 HP. No huge items here. Couple spatulas, but no one has any items to really do anything with those. No. Looks like they'll just be picking up stat sticks with what they want. If they want some ability power, if they want some attack speed. Yeah. You didn't get to pick, actually, it looked like there. It was a bit indecisive there. I wonder what uh, if he got something that he, he wanted. He got the Anivia. I didn't remember what item was on, though. I'm not quite sure. Let me take a look at that in a second. Claudius with that rod. Maybe putting it on the Aurelian Soul, I believe. Does yeah, that would make the most sense here. Looks like Yuge may have gotten that uh, Giant's Belt that he just put onto his Kale. I yeah. presume if he had a single stat item, he instead, so. Probably so. Yeah, it looks like it. Going into the fight here. Yeah, we see the Cho'Gath does get the rupture off before it is stunned. Ooh! Another double rupture. That's This is going to be a lot of damage onto you. Well, maybe not. The Kale, T2 Kale trying to get a little bit more value does get an alt off but it goes onto the garen probably would have liked to see that onto the yasuo but he's still alive guardian angel can the kale get one more alt off no yasuo gets the knock up trying to keep himself oh that's gonna be not quite enough huge hanging on huge hanging on two hit points left oh man that was those chogath ultimates lined up exactly perfectly on the rangers one hit and then the the item Cho'Gath hit about a you know 0.5 seconds later to stop the Kindred from ulting, which usually saves the Rangers in these fights. Wasn't able to uh, the Kindred wasn't able to prevent that this time. Oh, the Cho'Gath! Oh, I, I think it would have put in. Hit? Oh, it, oh didn't it didn't combine in time. Is this that gonna was... hurt him a lot? We're gonna see a huge Yasuo knock up on the side there. Lucian dashing forward, they're gonna Am see I the double help? rupture in a row. Kindred alt, the vein steps in, gonna try and get silences out. It looks like Yuge is losing this. He does have his Yasuo still, but that's gonna be it. Just the Yasuo on his last stand, and Yuge is gonna fall. The tier 3 Cho did not matter. And Cladius taking a first place, one of your picks, Indeed. to bring home the victory today. And Cladius played that very well. I'm actually... Okay, I'm thinking that if he had combined the tier 3 Cho'Gath... I think he might have actually lost that round. What won him <laughs> the round was the fact that both Shogas were able to combine their ultimates uh, to really destroy that backline. So I, I'm really curious to see how that would have gone out. But either way, congratulations to Cladius. Takes game number two, and we update the scores here. We'll get to those in a moment. Wow, what a game. What a game. <laughs> Absolutely Any standouts crazy. for you for that one? Besides, you know, Cladius? Uh, Yuge was able to, both Cladius and Yuge were able to claw their way back into this fight night, getting some points for themselves, so that's making it a much more interesting field. A lot of people with points right now. Uh, oh, Faye, yeah. though, continuing to score, she's gonna be able to keep her slot in first place right now. Indeed. Cladius catching up a little bit, and then we see Jay, Yuge, and Zeus all at three, coming up behind them. Yeah. Consistency is rewarded, and we see Faye being the most consistent so far. But we'll see after a little five-minute break that we're taking here if she's able to remain in the lead, or if, say, Cladius or someone else will be able to take that from her. We'll be right back. Stay with us.
All right, welcome back everybody to the first official Heroes Hearth TFT Fight Night. We've had a couple of exciting games here. Uh, we have Faye leading the charge currently with six points, but we've got some contenders close behind. Now also, what helps all these players out tonight is cheering bits. We already have 1,200. We want to raise that number even higher. Bits below, raise them higher. Uh, you, they help out everybody, part of the the, the production, uh, the cast, crew, and the players, and most importantly, that bounty, which Faye is looking to uh, claim victory here, so she can either claim that bounty or try to risk it to come back next week and grow that bounty even higher. Uh, so we will see. I believe we're jumping into game shortly. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Slam those biddies. Mm -hmm, come mm -hmm, on, chat. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Get some support for this TFT action. We're going to keep running these bi-weekly, trying to get as many people as we can on. Try and get some competition out here for TFT. There's been some, but, you know, not a whole ton of uh, competition out there. Not yet. Hopefully coming up, but, you know, we've got it here. We've got it here at Heroes Hearth. Make sure to follow, subscribe, hit us with those biddies, and we're heading in to game number three to see if Faye can hold on to this lead or if someone else is going to catch her from behind. It's pretty close. There was a few players at, um, I believe it was three points, and Cladius at four points. So we will see here. Coming into game number three, Jishrita grabbing the rod with the Shen right now. He'll probably end up selling that Shen. Faye getting her bow start yet again. Yeah, feel like that's optimal, shift. Item. optimal item every time. Yeah. It's definitely a contributing factor into her um, claiming those six points that she has so far. Zoo's also with a bow on a pike here. Gets that mystery box. Will it be an item or a bow? It'll or item It'll or a bow. Be... Item or a gold. <laughs> <laughs> item or a bow. He item or a bow. A bow. You really he would. Uh, you'd be totally down for a bow, actually. <laughs> That you would making rapid fire cannon, you know, transitioning into those Draven compositions that are pretty popular in this meta. Cool DX pairs for yeah. DXN there. Mordekaiser and Warwick, CJ Street Day with those knights. Gets a Graves and Elise and Nidalee offered to him. Not the best units, maybe the Nidalee. Yeah, might pick to up hold here. on to the Shen for now, at least. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see if that changes. We'll probably end up eventually selling that, especially because it has a rod on it. Not a very good Shen item. Blevins here also knights picked up the one dollar uh, sword there actually preferred the sword over whatever other item was left even if though it was on a two dollar unit or a two cost unit yeah right now it's giving him the knight synergy but he's one gold behind everybody else indeed With that pick up every gold matters it picks up two gold here so he's able to buy out the full shop. Giving him options here, getting a little bit of that gold that he lost back, but doesn't really want to pick up that one item here from that third round. That's, you know, again, one of those unfortunate bad starts. Getting one item and three gold. Couple Even getting gold, gold, more gold is better. Here. Yeah. He's got the like uh, tier two Warwick. I wonder if keeping those wilds because just here to Warwick is worth it, or maybe going for nobles. Now, it does sell the vein for the Garen. I do like that. It gives options. Not opting for the other Warwick. 
nobles as well. Mm hmm. Definitely. Uh, I think both starts are pretty good. But already having two to work, you probably want to keep that in. Item here, two items actually. Bit of a, a little bit of a high roll. Yeah. Has a few a couple, options. A couple options here could go into that Morello, but no unit for that right now necessarily. I've seen players put a Morello on Lucian. It's not the best early game, and you'll want to eventually move that to somebody else, but it's not bad. He will ult a lot of times and proc that burn damage while it's only on one target. It will still be okay. We see Zeus here with nobles and knights start. Uh, it's yeah, like he only had a has major gold start with only the two items. Yeah, three gold, one item. Unfortunate there, but we'll see if he's able to find some upgrades soon. He's hovering that Ari. Looks like he may want to buy it if he wins this round. He did go to level four with the extra gold. And he did, considering selling the Mordekaiser. I believe he's going to win the round, so I'm not sure. He's thinking about it. <laughs> Heavily considering this. Uh, does does in Italy. Zelda in Italy. Okay, well, that's the Kha'Zix now when he wins. I remember ah. that one. So that's why yeah. he went for the sell. Mm -hmm. Valued the Kha'Zix over the Italy. Doesn't really value those wilds right now. I guess if you will go two wilds, you would probably want a Warwick to be your frontliner. We see a tier 2 Warwick uh, <laughs> with a Zeke's Herald there as J Street Day scouts other boards. Early game scouting is very, very good. Oh, Morellos and a uh, bow on that Ari. Pretty good early game items, definitely. Doesn't find any tier 2s yet. Ends up leveling up to put those wilds in. And Brawlers takes out the Knights. Gonna run the Brawler Wild right now, just a Garen to give a little bit more beef to this front line. Yeah, has Only three pairs. Pair units, but a lot of pairs, as you just stated. Indeed. Probably wants this cast in here. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Selling the Elise for the cast and Elise, one of those units that even though it got buffed, is not very strong. But facing Yuge with three tier two units here, Graves getting a lot of value with that buckshot. Yeah, the Blitzcrank was able to peel that Kha'Zix off of the Ari, but the Ari did step into range of the Buckshot, and that Tier 2 Graves was tearing through her, but seems like... Kaiser. Oh. Maybe? Hits the Warwick instead okay. of the Garen. Yeah. Ugh, you hate to see that as huge. Gonna end up losing a little bit of extra HP when he really shouldn't have had to. Yeah. A little bit unfortunate there. It's it's always such a feels bad man. Oh, <laughs> it's a penguin dab emote. <laughs> oh well, but so yeah, it feels bad when you have you know three tier two units, but you still lose to all tier ones. Definitely G a tilter. Gangplank for DXN here. Yeah, maybe looking for three pirates. Maybe wants to put in the voids. He's got a graves that he could pick up if he wanted the pirates right now. Yeah, uh, it'd be pretty weak, but it would give him some early economy with the gold. Yeah. Generally, players are going to value their health over economy. And it seems that DXN is also following that principle as well. Not opting to use the belt or the uh, cloak either there as well. Doesn't want to make that Zephyr. Wants to probably yeah, save. Seems too early for the Zephyr. Yeah. Wanting to hold out for some other items as that cloak is so important on a couple very powerful early game items. Oh, indeed, we saw Zeus picks up a couple of pairs here. Um, to create a tier 2 Fiora and a tier 2 Vein. Is yeah, it enough that, here? Yeah, the Darius got a lot of value in making it be able to frontline for such a long time here. Don't think that Gangplank ult's gonna be enough to uh, save him in DXN. We'll lose that round. Zoo's gonna keep his health this time a little. This time around. This is they go to the first carousel. Yeah, it's the Tot. Sing 100% here. Now he's looking to uh, score some points here. I don't know if he'll be able to get first, theoretically. He still could, but definitely looking to at least place on the on the leaderboards here, first, second, or third. Even fourth, yeah. as you get a little bit of extra bits if you do get in fourth place. Yeah, I think first place is still within reach for everyone with two games left if they can pull out two victories in a row. Yeah, Should be able to lead to a to a win. Uh, Faye, of course, can still beat someone who wins twice in a row if they're coming from either you know one of the lower scoring players. But indeed, we'll have to see. 
All depends on the placements. If, you know, say Faye does pretty well in the next two games, she's likely to be able to get first. But say she has an unfortunate game where she places in the bottom four, someone could most definitely catch up. Uh, so Todd does pick up that special. That's probably going to be a hurricane on the uh, vein, mm. and it is. That it is. We saw the power of that uh, when Huge played it in the last game. And this yeah, is a very did. early hurricane to be picked up. It is. I, I haven't quite seen a hurricane built this early on a vein, personally. But uh, sitting on twenty gold, wants to favor economy over leveling double. up. So we yeah, double blitzcrank. <laughs> <laughs> Will the silver bolts be enough to beat the double blitzcrank, Cassa? I don't know. <laughs> Ain't nothing beats double blitzcrank, Crowan. Double blitzcrank is the play. That's my boy, Jay, right there, putting in the double blitz. Can't lose. Can't lose with that. You know, I think it might have been the RE2 that maybe nope. was. Uh, oh, double was blitz the... carried oh, that double. one all day. Doesn't matter that Ari has some optimal items on her. Was the blitzcranks? They carried that fight 100%. Yeah, Blitz, uh, Blitz OP, you heard it here first, folks. I mean, <laughs> that Warwick tier 2 as well, looking for that Rek'Sai maybe, getting a couple Lulus, wants to trans transition into Sorcerers. Takes out the two Blitzcranks. Kassa, what's going on? I can no longer cheer for Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Until they go back in. I mean, I they'll probably go back in eventually. You know, I, for you now, know I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. That tier 2 Blitzcrank, you know, probably it. It'll go yeah, in. Yeah, that'll go back in. That's gotta go back. I mean, I feel like if you get the yeah, T2 yeah. and you don't put it in early, you're trolling, actually. I think, I think so. you're definitely trolling. See, Blev running it back with the Gunslinger. I believe it was Blev who went Gunslinger's last game. <laughs> it's actually as close to Tier 3 Tristana at this point as he was at maybe the Raptors round last game. Yeah, he might be able to get it early. He got the Graves last time, very that but couldn't did. find the Tristana. And this time around, it looks like he may find the Tristana, which I think you prefer to have the Tristana, oh, generally. Definitely. Uh, you want to get those items on her. Get her pumping out a lot of damage. It's interesting that he's going Gunslingers because it's fallen out of the meta, which means it's a lot easier to go Gunslingers now. Yeah, not many other players are contesting those Gunslingers, so when you're rolling, you will have higher odds to pick up those units as there is a shared pool of every uh, every unit who are tied there between Zeus and Claudius, I believe that that was. I, I think so. I think that was Claudius. They do tie there. Both going to take a little bit of damage. Looks like uh, Zoo's heading into Ranger comp here. He does yeah. have a couple of them so far. The Vein on T2. He's uh, got another Vein on the uh, board there that he could pick up. Yeah, if he probably, wants to try and look for T3. Probably will. The only reason uh, to not pick this up is maybe if the Krugs uh, drop gold, wants to get to 20. I'm not sure what he's doing. He could sell the Gangplank and get to 20 gold if the Krugs do drop Yeah, it. so he... So yeah, I guess maybe that's what he's waiting for, or or maybe he doesn't want to be reaching for a vein three. Yeah. We did just see him hover it with the mouse. I think he's heavily considering it. Maybe considering the exact play you were talking about. If he, he drops the five gold, he's going to yeah. sell the GP econ a little bit here. He's scouting around. Okay, got a bow. Got a bow. Didn't get the gold. He which probably is picks better. up the vein then. No, well, maybe not. Decides against it. I feel like there's no reason to not pick it up there, but maybe he just doesn't want to bait himself into committing for it. Is picking up Gangplanks here. It doesn't look like he wants to transition to Rangers. He's considering selling the Varus already. Oh. Potentially, he's going to have Let's Blade go Masters and is looking for a Draven for three Blade Master? Maybe. And then he transitioned the Gangplank into an Aatrox or a Yasuo. Sell? So he sells the Gangplank. Gangplank. I'm not sure what he's going for here, actually. I'll have to check back in a bit later to see Faye, <laughs> the point leader, currently sitting yeah. at first in this game as well. Going three Yordles, has a cannon with Morello's and Guardian's Angel. It'll probably be enough to take the take the win on this fight, but we will see. Oof, that's a really bad cannon. Mm -hmm. Only killing the Mordekaiser. Okay. Does get one tick. Got one, that, tick. That one tick. That's all tick that is mattered. Important. Yeah, that's all that mattered to apply the Morello. Does a lot of damage. Might have won it either way. This Yordle buff is definitely getting some good procs here. <laughs> Blocking a lot of damage. Um, but oh, yeah, yeah. Faye, strong again. The Kennen kind of falling out of favor a little bit, but still, Kennen with Morellos and GA is a pretty strong unit. So. Oh, definitely. She's looking to go into some more Yodos here. Has the Brandon Lissandra for the option to go Elementalists that has fallen a bit out of favor with a lot of players recently, but maybe she'll decide to do it. Having it this early, though, it's probably pretty strong still, right? 
I mean, it's uh, very early in the game. Even with the nerfs, I having that extra be, big yeah. body... I might put it in here. Oh, actually, she would lose Yordles, who takes out the Poppy, and doesn't want to take out both of the Knights here. Well, what about taking out the T1 uh, Ari and the T1 Garen? You lose Wild. Yeah. And I guess you lose yeah. Knight. So you're losing a, some, some decent synergies in order to gain the, the Elementalist. I'm, I'm sure not sure on that. That's a very... I think that's it's a tight... It's close. Yeah. That's a tight one. Definitely. If Ken is able to get another ult off here, but it doesn't look like he will be able to. Oh, man. That Ari. Triple item. Red buff, Morello's, and Static Shiv. I think J Street's able to look to sell that Ari later to kind of spread out those uh, red buff and Morello's, considering he'll be applying that uh, debuff to the same target for now. But it's a bit of an added power spike. See, DXN also maybe looking for Yordles. Has Lulu and Ken in the shop. Already Lulu too, though. Yeah, we're going to see DXN pick up a Kennen as well. Going to go into that Yordle. He's considering Perfect. selling this game blank. Doesn't want to do it yet. Going to keep the Blade, Blade Masters. Masters. Yeah. And putting in Demons and Sorcerers as well. It, it's a close one. I'm not sure which is better. There's a lot of a lot of very, very uh, tight decisions being made here by these players. Yeah, and they're going to be making big differences in this game because it's it's going to make a difference of HP overall, most likely. Definitely. Uh, these decisions being made. I mean, a lot of it's going to be matchup dependent, and it's definitely hard to say what's going to be the better option. Kennen gets a pretty big ultimate Ooh, there. The a GP, though, and the Morgana doing a lot of damage. Will Lulu be able oh, to save the close. game here? Oh, he still has Guardian's Angel, but then another Kennen ult comes out. Yeah, it's going to proc the GA of the Gangplank most likely. Oh, Not quite. No. Gangplank. Yeah. Gangplank going to hold on. <laughs> That gangplank carry. That is the uh, Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if he'll be holding on to that one for long, but able to maybe he's able to get a tier two gangplank. Might see that. J Street Day sitting at third currently. Seeing what item he wants here from the carousel. See uh Yuge. And uh Blev picking first. Blev going for maybe a red buff there with that vest. Bow being picked up as well. And Zeus picking up the tier. I have to check in with all these players after this carousel round to see what items and what units they're going to be making. Yeah, especially yeah. interested to see where uh, Jay is going to be putting that spatula. Indeed. DXN picks up a gangplank. Was DXN the gangplank player? He was. He might have been one away. That could be the T2 GP for Perhaps Jay's got so. that spatula. He doesn't have another item with it yet. No. So it looks like he's just holding on to that yeah, for his that's... Sorcerer Cho'Gath, probably. Probably. That's a play that I like a lot. If you're in you know, the top few positions uh, in terms of the game here, I would definitely like taking uh, spatulas if you're able to. Because other players are going to take all the items that you probably wanted, and you're going to have enough HP to be able to sit comfortably and so you can make whatever you want, whether it be a Force of Nature, you know, Sorcerer, Blade Master, whatever, whatever it'll be. Yeah, DXN didn't one. get three GPs off that, he's just on Another two. One. Yeah. Looking for that third one though soon. Morgana pulls off another really good ultimate here, gonna stun three targets. Yeah, that's that vein with the, uh, with the Runans, and it has a Curse Blade now as oh, yeah, well. Oh buff, she might actually win this. Yeah. Seeing if she can get the procs, definitely, yeah, demoting a lot of these units. They're not doing any damage to her because they're all tier zero. Oh, there we go. Kazan's tier zero now. Oh, Lulu won't save me. This is finally the Morello hard. proc, but it's, yeah. it's not going to be enough. It's a tie. <laughs> Gangplank and Vayne surviving. Oh, that was interesting wow. one to watch. Yeah, this Runan's Vein is looking like a very interesting strategy. Putting another item on that synergizes with the Runan seems to work really well. I like the Curse Blade. The Hush was interesting because the mana is useless, but Hush as an item seems very good. Oh, with definitely. It. Curse Blade, of course, does give the attack speed, though, so maybe that's slightly better. Um, not entirely sure. I don't know. You it's... could maybe add a Hush on top of that, I guess, if you get up to that tier 3 uh, Vein with all that HP. Yeah, you, you definitely could. It's just a game of slight numbers here. You know, Hush has a 50% chance to proc. Curse Blade has 20% chance, but also gives the attack speed. So a lot of, you know, really close decisions being made by these players here. See Blevins running into that vein. 
Blobbins have yeah. enough here. He's Two, got three, the Tristana. Three, Tristana with the Gunslingers. Looks yeah. like it should be able to do enough damage here. Yeah, I don't think that this Fiora is going to be able to do enough. It does have the Noble buff, but oh. overall, as soon as Let's this block the Tristana bomb, oh. does block it Tristana does. bomb. One more. <laughs> what? Oh wait, what? Fiora! What? Fiora! Oh shit! Oh shit! What did I just watch? Oh, that Fiora God, is actually nuts. Faker. I think she's nuts. What? <laughs> Every single one of them just bop, bop the Rapaz. Not letting any of that damage come through, and the Nova being enough. Oh my god, that was nutty, dude. You hate to see oh. it if you're Blobbins there. That was a tilter for sure. Oh my Wowie. gosh. That's some Someone. good TFT right there. Uh, that, that's that's that good shit. That's what we like to see here. <laughs> it, dude, uh, someone to PayPal that Fiora. She was trying out of her mind there. Oh my gosh, she had holy the Lincoln holy. Park going in her head. You know, <laughs> she was ready. Montage right there. Definitely montage worthy clip. Jishrite. Still with that Ari. Hasn't transferred over the items. Yeah, the Blitzcrank's back in, so I'm a fan yet again. That is good to glad see. To, glad to see him on top. Still hasn't picked up the tier 2 Blitz, though. Gets a sword. Probably does not want to make an assassin here with that spatula and sword. Probably going to try to make a guardian's angel yeah. and maybe a sorcerer. Uh, I yeah, so later. One thing that's really interesting about the fact that he picked up assassin here is like Blitzcrank assassin is like really bad. It's like yeah. really awful and he should never go it. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. yeah, I'm glad that that's the route that you uh, <laughs> decided to go with that one. I thought for a second I was about to have to uh, educate the chat room, but you have done that. <laughs> So thank you very just, much. Just clearing that up for you, you know, in case thank you were you. curious of that. Um, you know, he tends to jump into the back line and then pull one of their front line to him. So not necessarily insane useful most of the time. And not as insane useful as this Karthus here coming out pretty early from Cladius. Able to get a whole bunch of damage. Luden's proccing oh. as well. Yeah, that Karthus doing work right Going now. Going again. And... He's got a T2 Blitzcrank, so, you know, he's definitely looking real good here. Trying to find his Cho'Gath to get into that Brawler Sorcerer area as well. I mean, I wonder why he doesn't just sell the Karthus off, give those items to the Blitzcrank. I mean, Blitzcrank is the true carry there, of course. Of course, I, you know, I agree. I completely agree with you there. Yeah. Um, but they're definitely, Zoo's struggling again this game, trying to find his upgrades. I'm not quite just sure what he's nice. looking for here. Here's I think he seemed a little bit decisive before. Finds a Brom too, replaces the Sedge. Has a Leona. I definitely would consider putting this Leona in for Guardians over something for here. Darius? Over Fiora? Darius? Oh, wait, he doesn't have Probably Blade Master yet, so over the Fiora oh. for sure it should go in. Because yeah. he would keep the Noble buff. Mm -hmm. and, and gain the Guardians. And exactly. Fiora, at yeah. this point, it's definitely getting outscaled. I mean, we saw the Fiora carry a few rounds ago, but... I don't know if that's really what Zeus wants it does here. It look like Zeus is able to find this round over Huge. Yeah, Huge also very weak. No gold, has two Dravens on the bench. Not quite sure if that's going to be what he wants here. I see Zeus scouting out. Yeah, we got a Blitzcrank with some items on it. <laughs> a lot of Blitzcranks this game, actually. We're seeing a, I'm happy. I'm always happy to see a bunch of Blitzcranks. Of course. Blitzcranks a solid unit, especially with all the brawlers being run in this meta. Most definitely. And is able to threaten those backline carries like those Dravens or those Rangers. Anything like that. Faye has found the tier 2 cannon. Sitting at third place right now. 67 HP. Has the Swain. I wonder if she'll end up putting in that Swain with that Morillo's... In that Guardian's Angel, if she finds a Katarina maybe for four Imperials, I wonder. I think so. I would expect to see that. Um, or even if she just finds the tier two Swain, I could see her yeah. go for that kind of play. Um, but I guess it's more likely for her to eventually find the Katarina. I'm maybe four Imperials won't be better to replace these Yordles yet until she finds a couple uh, tier two units of it, though, because right yeah. now she does have all the tier twos. Oh, that oh the Kennan all. This time it, it doesn't continue to go during no. the GA. Saw it earlier did go during the GA. So some inconsistency with that, but uh, Faye will be able to win that round off the back of that cannon. 
Yeah, I believe if the Kennen is like 50% of the way done with his ultimate and goes into Guardian's Angel, it will continue. But if he's just starting it, it will cancel. If he goes into Guardian's Angel, I believe that's how the interaction works. Um, but the one tick was enough there. I see that is very interesting. Kill the spatula being picked yeah. up here by Satat. For sure. I wonder what he'll end up doing with that one. Satat, kind of low. Always curious when I see those five cost units picked up if they're being picked up for the item or for the unit. Yeah, it could be I think either that's or. generally the time that you do see it picked up for the unit is when it is those five costs. Oh yeah, sometimes even four cost units, but those five costers are going to be looking to make an impact with some of these players' compositions. Maybe. We will see. Satan's 23 health here, pretty low. Very close to the tier 3 Fiora. <laughs> I wonder if the tier 3 Fiora is going to carry the game. He might be able to find it. He's got 43 gold that he's going to need to start playing with right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Because he could die from 23. If he runs into a very strong player, 23 is definitely a dangerous HP to be at. Wants to put in... Oh, wants to put in Nobles, maybe? I'm not quite sure. The GA Dragonclaw Blitzcrank did get dropped down to zero stars already by the vein. Yeah. But Karthus... Morellos <laughs> and Ludens. Uh, <laughs> is this going to be the 23 damage? I don't think it'll quite be 23, because reducing some of those units to zero stars, they won't be oh, doing that much damage. You're right. It does reduce the damage mm -hmm. you take, which is very important there. I think if he didn't have those reductions, actually, it might have done that eight more damage. Because that would have been a tier 2 Blitzcrank. And I, was it a tier 2 joke or tier 1? I, I can't really... Oh, yeah, one. I mean, that was a lot of uh, downgrades. I think that could have equaled out to about... Maybe not quite 8, but he would have been even I don't think it would have been 8, but yeah, it would have dropped down to uh, sub-5 HP for sure. Finds yeah. the asshole here, so that's going to have to continue rolling. I would roll to 0 here. Uh, yeah, definitely. Dropping to 8 HP, you lose one more round, you are out. Losing a lot of APM, not using the hotkeys here. Yeah, more comfortable with uh, with click and looking for those six nobles. Finds another one. He's indecisive about he wants to replace here. Plus the Might cost ring. him. Runs into Faye, the Yordles, and that Draven. Yeah, shrinking that Kennen though. Yeah, that's very important, but Kennen still applies the Morellos, so at the end of the day, still a lot of damage coming out of him. Vayne gets frozen, that's going to hurt a lot for Satat. But he's got these shrinks. Maybe they can get a couple more. The Poppy going to get the knockup. Another Ken and Ulti as it goes into GA. I don't think Vayne's going to be able to do it here. Getting Not so many misses. No. Sadat's going to go out here. I believe 8th place. Yep. Yuge is low, but not quite out yet. Sadat walking away from the keyboard. Unfortunate. Really didn't like that one, but... So it goes. Plevins also with so much gold here at 50. It is the Raptors round, so he has a round of reprieve. Yeah, he's going to be That's able to time. econ this last round, and then he needs to all in. And hopefully find his upgrades on all these um, gunslingers here. Indeed. He's checking with Jay Shrite. That's a tier 2 Cho'Gath with he's, Sorcerers. He found the T2 Cho'Gath before he's found the T2 Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank has <laughs> been a hotly contested unit this game. <laughs> It seems so. That's, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Finding that show before the Blitz, even. Ooh, finds a but, sorcerer item. That's oh, what that's going to go straight onto that Shogat. That's exactly what I he wanted. I assume he picked yeah. up that, that spatula. He also made the perfect item of Guardian's Angel for the Cho as well. So those two items he had earlier does exactly what he wanted to with them. Probably is going to level up here. See a 50 gold. He doesn't have to level up, but he chooses to. To put in yeah. that uh, that Kha'Zix. 70 HP, so he's he's chilling for now. Yeah, might be trying to get himself in a position to start killing off other people before they can recover by trying to invest a little bit of more gold to make him even stronger so he can deal more damage. I'm personally a fan of that strategy when you have a big lead and people are starting to get low, yeah, trying to get that here, final then. push. That's not what you want to see, actually, when you are Jay here. You want to be yeah. fighting the other enemies and trying to deal damage to them. Yeah, indeed. I mean, he's going to be able to take this round with some relative ease. The Draven doing a little bit of work there. But, um... We'll see what he's able to do with these... Uh, with a strong composition right now. See if he's able to knock out other players. Huge falls. 
That's all, man. Multiple Zeus players falling really here. Really low. Yeah, we lost Yuge and Blevins. Yeah. Zeus sitting in that fifth place mark. He's trying to get some points this game. He got points in the first round, and he need he's trying to hang on, keep himself in the running. But this Faye, is a very similar position to where he was at last game. Actually, wow. he was holding on, but added up uh, going out in that fifth place. We'll see if he's able to get in the points this time or not. Yeah, uh, you don't want to be a regular fifth place, Andy. Definitely in fight night. Not. No points coming in from being fifth place. <laughs> Well, Guardians only really buffing two other Runs units into J. here. Not what you want to see if you're Zeus. Uh, see if he can get the Choga. freeze. No, it goes off. Oh my! We're gonna see a big gangplank ulti here. He puts in the chain vest that he had. Probably not gonna be enough, and it looks no. like he'll go down in fifth yet again. Running away, but it doesn't no. matter. Zeus is gonna fall in fifth here. Fifth place Andy. Yeah, unfortunately, Zeus being a fifth place Andy this time around. DXN, <laughs> Faye, Cladius, and Jay are gonna be in the points right now. Yeah, Jay Shrite in the lead. Cladius though, 66 gold right now. He is rich. I wonder if he'll level up after this round. If he wants to keep rolling, he has a lot of pairs here. Yeah, he's got a very strong composition, but maybe not the best items right now. Making a very utility heavy Blitzcrank, trying to soak up a lot of damage in the front line to allow this Karthus to keep going off. Oh yeah, I think. That's a very good Zephyr though, hitting onto the yeah. Cho'Gath. Karthus ulti. Two Cho'Gath ults. Oh yeah, those are insane. This is pretty close, but it does look like with the casting going onto the Cho here, that's going to help yeah. out quite a bit. It's one of the reasons that Kassen is so good in this uh, Sorcerer Void meta. Because Cho'Gath, if you're able to get your Kassen onto the Cho'Gath, stopping his ultimate, that's so, so impactful. Four players left. DXN picks what... up the tier. Yeah, we're gonna Scouting see what they have to Cutting his own board. <laughs> probably Do puts that tier. tier. Karthus, probably, I presume? Either Karthus or Cho, depending on which one he True. values to go ult Cho. first. I think maybe it's almost more important for the Cho, right? You need that to go off as quickly as possible with the crowd control. I guess he just wants a little bit more damage yeah. pumping out. I think so. He might end up selling that cannon, I think, eventually, to put those items in the Cho'Gath. I would like to see that at some point. You already he have three Yordles. Need it for Yordle, right? Yeah, he does know. have the Nar instead. Needs to find something else to replace that cannon with. He does Plus have a little bit of HP too. to play with. I think once he finds a 22, enough. that's what he's looking for to replace that. Yeah, very well might be. Hook onto the Vigar, that's okay with him. Oh, still got ult off, but. Yeah, Karthus. The cannon's gonna go as well, the Karthus going. Double Karthus. Oh, Enemy Karthus. Oh! <laughs> the Blitz? Gladys getting a lot of damage, the Blitz. Nutty character. But the cannon. Able to get, get damage off. Cannon might be able to turn this around with the Dragon Claw. It's possible. But he does have the proc of Morellos coming in from the Karthus, and that's unfortunate. He pings the Karthus. <laughs> Question mark out. pings. Question mark pinging him. Oh, man. He finds his Aurelian. The toxicity there <laughs> with the question mark ping. As we go over to Faye's composition here, we see three Blade Masters. Faye has uh, three Yordles as well. Favoring multiple synergies here. Blade Masters, Yordles, um, uh, has. Imperial, hoping that yeah, lands on the Draven. Sorcerers as well. With the, oh, yeah, the Morgana there in the corner. I guess that's the Blitzcrank uh, hook target. Goes into DXN here. See, so the cannon ult goes off. Ooh. Faye's cannon, however. Taking a bunch of damage. That Draven in the back just. Pumping out damage that Karthus will not be able to ult in time. Ooh, it was close though. DXN still holding on though, losing a little bit of HP. Greats are very mm -hmm. important for him. Oh man. Down to 13 HP, Faye holding strong in second place. Got dragon items coming in though. Oh, Yasuo a 2 out of Drishrite. That's probably one of the reasons that he's still sitting at first here. One of the first, if not the first player, to get a uh, 5 cost tier 2 unit. So. Yeah, that's going to be pretty yeah. insane. I wonder who this Morellos will go on. 
There's already one on the um, on the cannon, so maybe a Yasuo? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking Yasuo as well. Another Zephyr, actually. Yeah, Cloudy's hmm. gonna have some options with positioning. It's yeah. maybe not a bad item to see. With double Zephyr, he can definitely take a lot of characters out of the fight early on. Give For himself sure. some time. Get some pickoffs. Red DXN. buff over Red here for buff, DXN. Not the worst. Maybe not the optimal item that uh, DXN wanted to see. Given as he is sorcerers, maybe wanted a mana item or ability power item, but not the worst. Not a sword of the divine or something like that. Levels up, rolls, finds an Anivia, considers it. Yasuo is really rolling for that uh, that um Karthus. Once that Karthus doesn't seem to find or it. Or a Sejuani. One of the two doesn't find either. Unfortunately, really unfortunate for 13 decent, huh? HP. Will he be able to hold on to find those upgrades? Those are going to be so no. huge for him. Decides to go red buff on the Chogats just to give it a little bit of extra stats. Yeah, fighting uh, Ooh, Jay Shrita. No, the going to be on to the Chogat though. That's really rough. Yes, big well Morgana flanking. ult, big Kennen ult. Ooh, the Cho only hit one target, actually. <sighs> but still. DXN, I believe he will fall here. He gets one more kill. Uh, it's oh, barely enough for one last kill on the, the Chogat. That's going to put him down man. to one HP. Wow. Kennen keeping him alive. See if God. DXN can hold on, but it does look like this will probably be a fourth place finish for him. Unless he can maybe find this tier 2 Karthus. Could make a difference. It could. I would. I don't know. What do you need right now? You need to. I wonder. Oh, if he cool. gives up on the Karthus. Gonna go for Finds Phantom. Phantom. Finds Phantom. That's not bad. I think given the, the, the situation here, that's one of DXN's best options. He either finds the uh, Sejuani 2 with that last roll, or puts in the or puts in the Kindred. Running to the corner already. <laughs> the Cassidy is on his Karthus. Oh no. Oh, it's a disaster for DXN. Aurelian Soul trying to keep him alive, but no. Nar probably won't be able to do enough unless Kennen can maybe get an ult off really quickly. Oh, Nar can Karthus? The Narcy's alive just enough? I think. Kennen gonna get the ult off the Morello should be able to take down this. Blitzcrank doesn't have Blitzcrank. GA anymore. Unless. Yeah. Oh, wow. DXN? Staying alive? The Even Phantom tech was already needed. Dixon, Can Dixon stay alive to get another place ahead? That's going to be the important question. I I don't know if I have faith, but it's he's trying. Mordekaiser instead? <laughs> Just he wanted to roll gold. for that Sejuani. Yeah, more gold. Oh, that sounds like Sejuani. Sejuani. another. Oh, oh no. no. Dxn. A tragedy has oh. struck. You gotta work with what you got. And he doesn't have much right now. But I respect it. Yeah, one if he can HP find one more win, he might be able to stay alive long enough to place a little bit higher. That's all he's looking for right now. Wayne too. Just Guys. one more win is all he's trying for. Faze got the Draven pumping out a ton of damage. Oh. Oh, he's hoping for a couple of misses. It's the possible? Karthus ulti gonna land down, but the Dragon Claw is gonna be too much. And DXN! No, he's gonna die to Faye. <laughs> Faye able to keep dealing more damage. DXN falls in fourth, gonna get one point there beyond the board. Faye getting some more points here. Claddy is still looking for that. Claddy is looking for that first place. That's what can bring him up to that tied for first place spot if Claddy can win this round. Oh, definitely. Oh, man. Props to DXN. He was trying to make the most of what he got. It was close, but that one dream at the end. Takes him out, but yes, we're down to our three here. Yeah, Jay sure looking thing. like a very strong contender to win this one. That Cladius thing. does have that tier two Karthus though. Still has a lot of gold. Uh, Faye rolling on almost zero gold here, finds two Kales. Um, Do you I ever think take two she's, Kales here? I think she's looking for Katarina. She has the Darius waiting on the bench yeah. as Draven and Swain. <sighs> She's it thinking. feels so tempting when you see that. She locks it. She wants them. She wants the really? double Kales. She's looking for that Kale 3. If she can survive to the uh, Carousel even, there are a couple options for upgrades. Either a Yasuo or a Kale would give her a tier 2 5 cost unit. As yeah. well as just rolling for them. 
Oh no. Oh. Surviving until Carousel, though. I don't know if that'll be that happening might here. Not happen. Cladius with the death cap. Uh, oh. Not quite enough. He's gonna stay alive. Yeah. Three HP. Three HP. Gonna take the Cladius kills. has a two-two Carthus. With death cap, Ludens, and Morellos. Oh, and he puts in Phantom. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a prediction here. Yeah. I think Claudius takes it. Oh, Unless... you think even over uh, Jay? We haven't seen his board in a little bit, so maybe take a look there, see what he's got. See also a two two cards. Also a two two as well. with six sorcerers. Okay, maybe it's possible. That was a bit early to say. Faye found the Katarina. Face. It's gonna be the four. Yeah, four two imperials. Two Swain, four imperials. Swain could end up carrying. It's gonna ult here. Ooh, Not gonna be enough. Mind. Gets blown up by the Cho'Gath. Let's see if this Draven can do enough. Probably not. Nope. Doesn't have the life steal, and even if he did, there's the red buff and the Morellos on that side. Faye yeah. gonna go down in third, getting two more points, putting her at eight. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a Zeke's here for Jay, and a Zeke's and here. And Zeke's, <laughs> Zeke's and Zeke's for Claudius. Not the worst. Perfectly I wonder. Balanced. Will the Sorcerer buff Tier 2 Cho'Gath be, uh, or not Cho'Gath, sorry, Karthus, be better than the 3 Sorcerer, but fully itemed Karthus? I'm not sure. The well, it's Zephyrus. the difference of that Death Cap, right? The Death Cap does give a yeah. bigger increase, 50%. I believe. There's, yeah, there's Overall, a rod. Overall, with the two rods, than rod the 100%. Blues. But rod all Morellos. the other mages are going to be doing less damage. But the Karthus itself will be doing more. Than the six source sorcerer yeah. Karthus. So we'll see. The I attack know. speed bonus. I'm not a mathematician, but there's some numbers to be run there. For yeah. Which one would do more? We will see. Tree Street is perspective here. Another Karthus. I don't think Karthus 3 is in any of these players' futures, considering that it's impossible at this point with only 10 of those units in the pool. Claudius watching the Zephyr, or Jay actually watching the Zephyr. Yeah. Apologies. Doesn't to want see. to. Uh, Trying to make sure so many it's going to be here. Zephyr Wars between him and Claudius to see where they can land it. Claudius get the move on it. He got the Cassidin. Probably the not exactly what he wanted. And the Yasuo, that's though. a good one. Ooh, oh my show, god. Show. But here's the Karthus! So much damage from that Karthus. Can he proc again? He's going to go again. If the cast goes off, he might be able to win it. Oh my god, that Karthus, dude. Jay, look at Jay. He's smiling. He knows how ridiculous that damage is from Claudius's Karthus and how close that round was. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is going to be so close here. This is a game of positioning at this point. Both players' compositions are nearly evenly matched. It's just how they decide to position that's going to spell victory or defeat for both of these players here. This is a tense one. In the chat, cheer for who you think is going to win. Get some biddies out for Jay or some biddies out for our boy Claudius and see which one of them is going to win here. The oh. Phantom's going to be able to get a kill immediately. The really Zephyrs good Zephyrs. And the oh, Asuna. but no! But the, the Karthus ended! The Karthus walked forward and died! And the Cho'Gath's gonna do so much damage! Karthus I don't know won. if Claudius moved his, his Karthus, but it died immediately! A lot of damage gonna go into Claudius! He barely lives! He's gotta get another reposition, because his Karthus just walked in and died there. 3 HP left. His Zephyrs were so perfect, but the Karthus walked forward and died! Karthus is trolling. Who PayPal'd him? I don't know. The Zephyr's positioning, the minute, minute details, what happens in these fights right now. Jay Shrita, will he be able to take the last victory second move here? From Claudius, bringing the Karthus to the center. Where will these Zephyr's land? Yasuo, Yasuo in the Sichuani this time, gotta watch that Cho'Gath though, he's gonna try and ult oh. The Karthus steps forward. It might- No, the knockup didn't land on the Karthus! He's gonna go, and the Cho'Gath stops the other Karthus! <laughs> Claudius, this time, is gonna deal a lot of damage back to Jay. Not quite as much- Oh! oh. Or not, the Cho'Gath! Cho I think it's gonna be enough! I think the Cho'Gath it does it! It is, and Jay wins the round! That's wins gonna put both Jay game. 
and Claudius at seven points, and Faye's gonna be at eight going into the final game. <gasps> That's crazy! It's that setting up was... for such an amazing final. Game. Right. Oh, we couldn't have asked for a better one here. That fight down we were talking about it those comps were so evenly matched it's just the minuscule details of what decides that and the Cho'Gath from Jay able to carry that one out oh, the Claudius I guess this is what we call the caster curse I called the uh, Claudius win with that with that yeah. with that card this but I guess so we didn't then, see quite how powerful Jishrite's you call it with Karthus was. and then Karthus runs it down a couple times doesn't uh, turn out so good for uh, Gladius. Uh, someone PayPaling the Karthus there. Not uh, oh, <laughs> really, man. you know, hate to see that as Gladius, but if we can go to the scores real quick, we're going to see oh, this is Bay so at close. 8, and then C9 J Shrit at 7, and Gladius at 7. Oof, we have Yuge and Zeus both at 3. Technically, they could tie for uh you know second or third place in there depending on how this last game goes but i don't know Claudius, Faye, and jayshrite all very strong players they've uh nearly all gotten points every game Claudius didn't get points the first game but besides that they've all gotten points for all three of these games they're gonna be looking to <laughs> all go for the win or win here so incredibly close between these players Faye calling out Claudius, telling him to come to fight night Jayshrit just getting picked up by Cloud9 coming into this tournament. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I mean, will Faye be able to do it? That's the question on everybody's mind right now. Will Jayshrit be able to come in and claim victory? Will Clydeus be able to do it? Former rank one NA player? Yeah, we'll Faye see. holding her own against some amazing Ooh. players. Grabs the bow again. Four games in a row, I in believe. The has she gets it. Bow. She gets the bow. She's been holding her own against these amazing players, trying to maintain her spot as the champ here at Fight Night. Yeah, she's making a statement here. She said, not only did I win last week, I am here to compete against these other big names, and I'm here to win as well. She is really making a name for herself here tonight. Absolutely excited to see what she can do. We're going to see if she can hold on to this spot she's got that one point advantage coming into the last game that can be so incredibly important indeed i saw clyde with the bow there as well as zeus with the rod gets three nidalees not a bad roll there not a bad roll we'll see if he's able to pick up uh, another wild or perhaps some shapeshifters i don't know if you've seen anyone go shapeshifters tonight they've fallen out of the meta a little bit i wonder we will see Right. So he's scouting. Oh, we got a big cheer in there from Tasky. Thank you very much. This is the last game, so if you want to get those cheers and to support our players, please, this is the time to do so. Root for whoever you think is going to win. Whoever you're, you know, rooting for, maybe as an underdog story, we could have one of those three-point players get a top two or a top three finish here. So their story is not yet done until this game ends. It's going to be an intense one. Alright. Looks like Blevin's picking up a couple brawlers here. Dude. See a couple assassins there. Final PvE round. These players are gonna wanna be looking for some good items. Blue Jay only has that one tier so far. He's gotten three gold start. Not what you like to see. I believe also Satat, same thing. Yeah, Satat has put on a wig? Uh, not, yeah, maybe, I, maybe, uh, he's pulling up those. Brand new strategy. Yeah. Uh, seeing if he can make a comeback with this wig here. Is that a Daenerys wig? <laughs> I couldn't say. <laughs> he's pulling one of those famous, you know, workhorse, you know, resets. He need, maybe needed a minute yeah, after yeah, that last true. game. That's he just, true. you know, got up, stretched his legs, said, I need this wig to be able to channel my victory. Workhorse gains powers from five minute breaks. Maybe Zatat gains powers from wigs. Wearing wigs. We'll have hey, to see. Everyone, everyone has... Oh, it's gone already. Oh, it's gone. I 
the power if it wasn't there? What? It, yeah. It, it, <laughs> it, was it ever there? That is the true question. I don't know. It's was hard to ever say. Going there? Oh, more bits. 1500 bits is big scary. X -Files. Don't, thank you. <laughs> these bits. Keep these bits coming. We want to see them. These players want to see them. Very, very much appreciated. Let's see, Zeus. Definitely losing some help. Here. Looks unamused. Running into this Zed with a rapid fire cannon and a BF sword already yeah. from Gladius. That's kind of scary. A little bit. Those items. Maybe gonna be looking for that Draven later on. Ooh, Zeus, the tier 2 TF already. Pick up the scores. Oh. Phaedra should take Gladius, those top three. It's really anybody's game to win from those three right now. Yeah, Claudius getting a start that he definitely likes to see going into this final game, though. Rapid Fire Cannon already. Some more bits coming in. Thank you, guys. Still Blitz with the 400. Keep them coming for these players. Let us know who you want to win. Cass, I know you said Blitz there. Your mind's on Blitz, but it was uh, still Blizz. You know? I see Blitz everywhere I go. I can tell. In my I dreams, tell. I see Blitzcrank. That's uh, interesting. I know there's a lot of them last game, so I can understand that. Yeah, they're everywhere. That they are. Two, two Twisted Fade out here, doing some work right now. Garen spinning to try to win. TF throws a card into the spin, doesn't really do much damage there, but that one will secure the victory for Zeus there. Jay Shreet Day, those Knights Brawlers aren't quite the damage that he needs right now. Jay gonna be keeping, trying to keep his health up, trying to get to the Ooh. end game of this one as well, as he's also looking for that win. Yeah, some upgrades from Faye here. That Fiora, I wonder if she'll end up uh, putting that Fiora in? Or the Morgana, I think yeah, that's a good T choice there. T2 Morgana, especially, or er, T2 Fiora versus the T1 Morgana. Yeah. Definitely post nerf Morgana. Seems like it's probably better in most cases. I would definitely. Now, she has a lot of items here. She has four items. She could make a rapid fire cannon, could make a rage blade, uh, could make a, a gun blade, or a sword of the divine, but those two items aren't the best. So she's just looking to wait. Maybe once that static shiv from the carousel here, she's tanking a little bit of HP. So she will be one of the first to pick here, depending on if she wins this round. Yeah, in this situation, no. would you put those items on, or do you kind of like the strategy of kind of maybe holding off? to try and get a better first carousel pick and then maybe put them all in and get a big power spike at that point and look to win streak. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think there's a couple of viable options here. I know some players who are, you know, very high high ranking players would definitely make the RFC right now, but some would want to wait. I don't think there's a one that's necessarily better than the other. But uh, they're both definitely viable options here. Faye going to be picking second, so we'll see what item she wants to pick up here. There's one tier if she wants to go uh for the Static Shiv. See, Jishriti not really know what he wants there. Jishriti's still running around, picks that up. Faye. The tear is taken away. What does she go for? She goes for the Guardian's Angel, I believe that's going to be. If she combines that Chain Vest with the BF Sword. Yeah, it seems like that would be the case. GA Rapid Fire Cannon, if she can find a Draven. Yeah. Uh, it could be very, very strong. Yet again, she did have the Draven last game. Did get net her third place. That it did. Very, very strong. I mean, Faye obviously wants to be able to win, to feel comfortable about securing the victory. But getting a top three at least is important. So just wanting to play consistent right now. Not making too many risks. Ends up making that Guardian's Angel. I would probably at this point like to see a rapid fire cannon being built onto that Fiara. It's pretty good in the early game. Force of nature out of DXN already. That's super early. Yeah, what do you think she'd be holding on to these bows for if not to build this uh, rapid fire cannon? Do you think static, static shiv is still like on her mind? Probably. It feels Either like that. getting that early rapid fire cannon is still such a strong item that you yeah. uh, you wouldn't feel too disappointed picking that up, right? Definitely not. I mean, Rapid Fire Cannon can work very well for both, you know, Draven compositions later. Even Rangers, it's not the worst on, um, even though the Rangers already have increased range with uh, Ash and Varus. Could also look for 
I don't know, Cursed Blade. Uh, could look for the Sorcerers. Rapid Cannon is good on Aurelian Soul as well. He can stay safe in the corner and then just pile on the damage from there. Yeah, Jay not having a good start with his RNG, not great items on his bench, not no. the best synergies yet, and he's fallen pretty low at 68 HP already, but he does have time to stabilize. Fey low as well, but Cladius standing tall at 100 HP at the top of the table. Same with DXN here. It ends up going for the three assassin start here. Now this is interesting. I know players really value, uh, you know, those two items, Rapid Fire Cannon and Bloodthirster, for a Draven. Now this three assassin start might just be what Cladius needs to get to that Draven point. I mean, Zed's going to carry through all this early game. Mid game he might fall off, but right now, look at that. So much yeah. damage done to Blev there. He's it's, he's yeah. doing so much damage to everybody. He's not losing any HP. He's going to keep streaking, getting all this extra gold. Mm -hmm. And it will allow him to transition into really whatever he wants, but right now, as you stated with those items, it's really looking like he's just hunting for that Draven. Oh, yeah. Find that Draven, this game is going to look really good for Gladius. And this game looking good for Gladius could definitely lead into a win for this fight night. He's only one point behind the leader, Faye. Yeah, I'm facing at fifth right now uh, in terms of uh, health for this game. But Faye at the 8 points, J Street Day 7, Cladius 7. Will J Street Day be able to stabilize? Or will Cladius ride the momentum a bit too hard? It's very interesting, actually. Cladius, you know, sitting at 100, Faye in the middle of the pack, J Street Day at the bottom for now. But when it gets to that mid game and that late game, anything could happen. Faye with a tier 2 Morgana right now. I built 2 2 that pretty early. So maybe she'll be looking to go into Sorcerers here. Has Elementalists on the bench. Might consider doing that if she finds Lissandra. Oh, it did end up making that Raptor Cannon, actually. That is on the field oh, right yeah. now. <clears throat> Does have it. Locket available on the bench. Probably yeah. not going to be the item she's going to be wanting. No, Locket with those nerfs. Not going to be favored by many players here. She probably lost that one round after the carousel and said, I need to make these items. And did just that. Jishrite here. A lot of stuff on the bench, but not a very strong looking army here out on the board from Jay. No, a lot of gold on this bench as well, so he's not being able to make money. He can pick up a tier 2 Blitzcrank, oh, which could help a decent amount right now. Yeah. Get a little bit of strength, at least help stop him from taking so much damage, as it should allow him to at least kill a unit right off the bat. I mean, it doesn't have Sorcerer buff, so it won't deal the increased 45% damage, but still that base 450 will be very very strong yeah, especially here he should probably win this round i would think yeah well I don't know. maybe the not passing? we'll see the poppy is pretty tanky but it is a tier one poppy this next hook's gonna help out a decent bit but the magic resist from the ionic spark definitely helping out there and it's ionic spark's doing way too much work here it is lucian yeah, not falling here one. well yeah Pretty unfortunate for Jay, he's still going to be taking trying. a bit more damage. Maybe if the Lucian falls here, Poppy regen? Mm, I don't uh, think it's enough. Not, but it helps a little bit. Uh, Every damage counts right now for Jay. He's trying to hold on. Jay Street Day, hands on his head, wants to figure out something, finds the Poppy. Oh man, is that a 5,000? Let's go! right there from Noza Joza? Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Get your cheers in for this final game. This is what we're all, you know, here for. To see who's going to be victorious. Cheer for whatever player you want to see. Uh, take this game. Cheer for anybody you want. Yeah, bringing us so out. close to that goal for the night. Oh, that five thousand. Super close, actually. Four hundred away. I believe. All right. DXN, DXN got a blitz crank. Blitz crank in as well. Unfortunately, some... hooking a uh, Shivana, so it didn't do any damage, but. So, no. Dick's on 100% HP here. Is that Same with Claudius. Zeus found the uh, Cho'Gath. Yeah. But he does run into DXN. Yeah, Gonna be exciting to see DXN versus Claudius, because one of them will end the other's streak. DXN sitting on that Force of Nature already, though. Indeed. Force of Nature, very strong right now. He's sitting on level 5. But has six units in, that's a powerful thing. We see Blevins. 
sitting at 50 HP here, last place currently. Saying a lot of gold though, you know, Blevins does like to econ until he finds some uh, some strong units. Probably takes up the gangplank here, yeah. Puts in the three assassins like we saw Claudius have, but his Zed doesn't have the same items. Puts yeah, that bow not. on Zed probably. Does he make the curse blade? Potentially will here. Not sure. We see Elementalist coming out from Faye. She did decide to put those in. Very interesting. How's the vein still in though? Does Easy have the tier two Oof. Lissandra. Yeah, that Morgana. Did a lot of damage. Okay. Brand it's well. it's working out at least against Blevins right now, but Blevins is the bottom player right now. Yeah, definitely weak as falls to 41. 39 actually. When that last two damage came in. He's gonna have to spend some of his gold soon. Shrita here. Trying to make a comeback as well, sitting at 51. Doesn't even pick first from the carousel here, picks second. That's a Draven, I wonder if any players are going to decide to pick that up. Uh, if you're Cladius, you might want it. Yeah, but if you're Cladius... But I guess you also go. don't necessarily want the rod on it, but it's, it's not too bad. It could make, make a Rage Blade, yeah, it could yeah. make against his Rage Blade, that, that is a potential. Claudius, what's he going to be looking for? Claudius actually took a bit of a hit there at 94 Ooh. HP, so he didn't get destroyed in whatever fight he lost, but definitely lost by one, one or get a two spatula. units. TXM going for maybe. another force of nature, maybe? <laughs> maybe. If he's already got one, it might not be too bad to get the uh, another one. I mean, just having that many for so much yeah. different variety that he can do, he will be lacking a little bit in the items department as far as stats go, but... Extra units. Whole extra are, unit yeah. can make a huge difference. Definitely, especially if it's you know one of those Sejuani's or Chogas that CC pretty much the entire enemy team. Dixon putting in four brawlers here with the Cho or not the Chogas, excuse me, the Kha'Zix is looking to be that main damage. He definitely wants a Chogas oh, though. Void. Yeah, he's looking for Chogas, and then what do you think he's going to try and transition into? He's got the Force of Nature. He picked up an extra spatula. I'm not sure, to be honest. He's just holding these sorcerers on the, on the bench, so yeah. I'm looking... He's definitely looking at sorcerers. Might have a tier 3 Kha'Zix, so probably keep that if he finds it into the late game. Yeah, that spatula may be waiting to go on to Void you as a sorcerer. Yeah. And try and get in this 3 sorcerer. But actually, is that spatula? The spatula's not one of the Kha'Zix on, on the bench, ooh, yeah. So he may just make sorcerer Kha'Zix then. He if he's, might, yeah, I mean, he's leaving he it. That's going it. to. I think that will likely be a sorcerer Kha'Zix. I agree. Um, which it does do quite a bit of damage and will be pumping out that ultimate repeatedly, but it's not AOE is the issue. Um, no, it is not. Single target damage. Well, it is going to be immense single target damage with the sorcerer buff. Uh, eventually, not right now, but sorcerer buff and the true damage from voids. It's going to be huge. One of the reasons why we see DXN is at 100% HP here. Yeah, DXN potentially playing spoiler here for one of the people trying to get above Faye. Yeah. DXN's making a case for himself to win this round. Definitely so. Blevins has the Nivia option, picks it up, but we'll see what it's going to. That Morgana ult is huge. Oh, dies though. Poppy? Three item Poppy. Three item Poppy could do it. Ends up hitting into the Akali. Does kill it though. Finally gonna proc the Angel. GA. Gonna pop the its second ult. One. Rengar. Does it kill the Rengar in time? Oh, oh. the Yordle buff! Wait a minute! Wait! Poppy, Poppy 1v4! Poppy! Jay is so happy about that! Save him a little bit of HP, get him extra gold! Oh, that's so important for Jay! Oh man, that Yordle buff was insane! The Rengar oh, with that wow. ultimate would have killed the Poppy, but it your the poppy dodged it for a second i thought it bugged and then i realized that he had the three yordles uh-huh uh-huh oh wow the tier Crazy. one nar and tier one cannon really really paying dividends here as jay street day holds on he's at 40 hp a little bit low for where he wants to be at right now but he is holding on strong as the poppy carries him at least right now See another potential Ludens? Ah, not really the items that he really wanted there. He could make a frozen heart on somebody. I'm gonna get the As sorcerer three buff. Sorcerers. Three sorcerers is very, very strong. The poppy, tier two poppy does a 
insane amount of damage. He's got a couple items here that he may want to try and just put in to help him out, but nothing that super appealing. Frozen Heart, maybe, but yeah, I don't know. Definitely Zeus? nothing you're super happy about. No, Zeus 34 HP. <laughs> We've seen Zeus the past three games be in a similar position where he drops very low. Stabilizes, but still gets eliminated in fifth place. We'll see if he's able to recover to actually get in the points this game. Karthus. Karthus gonna go off. off. The Katarina Ooh. doing a lot of work there. Yeah, a lot of damage happened at once, but Sue's falling down to 24 HP in last place right now. He needs to find something else. <clears throat> the Poppy. Dropping the hammer. J Street Day, taking out a little bit of phase HP here. Fave with those, still with those elementalists. Yeah, we see oh, two Blitzcranks. <laughs> he was looking at the Blade of the Rune King on his... <laughs> on his Kha'Zix, I don't think that's what he's going to be going for. <laughs> Most likely we'll be seeing the Sorcerer oh, once he gets to this next carousel, if he can find a rod. Yeah, has the Aryan for now. He's sitting on 30 gold, has not lost a single round thus far. He's sitting on an 11 uh, win streak here. Will anyone be able to take him out? Uh, Faye almost oh. found the perfect game in the first round. Blitzcrank's switch positions there, both in the back, pulling each other. We'll see if DXN can find a perfect game this time, since Faye did not end up getting it. Zeus played spoiler on that one. Indeed, Ionic Spark not doing enough yeah, here. A lot of damage to Cladius. Cladius really not want DXN on the other side of the board. No one wants no. to see DXN on the other side of the board right now. Very similar to game one, indeed. But with that, Faye has crept her way back into second place. That she has. Um, I believe the majority of the players are either 50 HP or less here around that 50 Pretty HP mark. Even. Gonna get rolled by by Satat. Hmm. Two kindreds. One Cho. Decides to level up here. Puts in the Cho. No synergies. But Cho is still a strong unit. Wanting Picks up the up. Up. Runs yeah. into Zeus here. Zeus not really able to find any upgrades yet. The Aurelian Soul is gonna get hit by that Phantom. Cho goes on. And that Cho'Gath is gonna. Be able to hit the Aurelian. Aurelian's still able to go off. But that Kindred Alt is huge, keeping a couple mm -hmm. of units alive. Zoo's going to take a lot more damage than he wants to there. Yeah, Satat's... I would think that uh, perhaps Satat's comp wasn't that strong, but it appears it was strong enough to beat Zoo's. Zoo's really, really struggling here. Plevin's dropping down to 6 HP. Also struggling. Bloodthirster. Misfortune. MF right there. Yeah, does Zeus pick it up? Zeus is right next to it. Yeah, he might. I get ah, Bloodthirster not. isn't great for him. He's trying to find that tier two Aurelian. I like the pickup there to grab the Aurelian, yep. make sure he can get to that upgrade. Uh, we do end up seeing the MF getting picked up by uh, Blevins then. Yeah, a free Bloodthirster. Getting a full item, not bad at all. Hey, hey grabbing a spatula. spatula. Well, do you think about a spatula? With that. I think DSM he might get might... the spatula here. Oh, you think he just goes he for Fawn instead? Yeah, yeah he... instead of going for the Sorcerer, because the <laughs> buff in, he's no just going to go for the Fawn. Uh, he's so strong already, and he's just going to get more units onto the board here. That's actually insane. Double Fawn before Raptors? Oh my god. He's doing it. I th yeah, oh, he, could put it, he could put in another Blitzcrank with that, and that would actually just give another big boost of strength <laughs> right now. I know it's a meme at this point about me and Blitzcrank, but realistically putting that in, yeah, it, I agree. The brawler buff it does that 450 the damage on the pull with the sword buff, so even more. Yep. I mean that's so strong, and he can be positioning them to try and pull different units off of the back line. Speaking of strong, it's Draven though on the back line. Three yeah. items here, two Draven. Oh, but the Kha'Zix oh, goes Kha onto it. Oh, <laughs> oh what the Draven it. stays alive though. That might be enough. It's gonna keep healing up. The Blitzcrank will oh, the hit Blitz? it, gonna knock it down, and that will probably be able to seal that, but that actually got pretty close with that Draven trying to stay alive there. I, I want to see DXN utilize this Fawn, just be even stronger, keep pushing this lead. I mean, he doesn't have to. If he wants to go for a perfect game, he would, but DXN is playing for the win. We see Blevins, unfortunately, gets eliminated on that last round, but 
Now, DX wants to wait until Raptors, see what MZ gets. If, true, true. Uh, yeah, if, if at that point he doesn't find a sorcerer, might uh, build that force of nature. Probably at will. At this point, he has the sorcerers in already. Does he really? Does he need to go for the sorcerer item? I guess he wants it maybe for a Cho'Gath, for the mana he gain. But he could just put more sorks in if he was wanting to go six sorks. He could just do fawn and put more sorks in. Yeah. Sometimes putting that sword in the Cho'Gath is going to be more valuable. It can, with the, the mana yeah. regen. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's interesting. It's, it's hard to say what the right play is. A lot of um, options. We're looking at six nobles here. Against that side of Zatad, But it's against a Katarina, and the Katarina does prevent a lot of the healing. This Draven's going to try and stay alive, and it, I, think I think this Draven's going to win this. Yeah, he is. Tons of damage coming out of the Draven. Will it Stun, I think we'll exactly Stun. die, yes. Yeah, he falls down in seventh to oh. huge. Draven dealing four damage and then the extra two for losing the round. Exact lethal there. Almost. He found the noble power spike, but the Draven was just too strong. Might have been able to beat hey. some other players there. Rocking her patented sorcerer Poppy, which she played in the final game of the last one. That she did. Did she win that game? She did win Poppy? that game very heavily, actually. <laughs> with the sorcerer Poppy. <laughs> She has a long road ahead of her if she is going to win this one with DXN still at 100% HP. She's in second place right now at 34. Jishrite in third, Claudius in fourth. But, but Faye isn't even trying to win this one. I think she's trying to just place higher than Jay and Claudius. Yeah. That's all she's caring about right now. All she's thinking Four about. Four items. Oh my, that's so much. That's so good for her. If she can just place higher than them, that's all she needs. What does she make here? All right, I'm thinking, I'm calling it now, Deathcap, Shoujins. Poppy. <laughs> oh god, it's going to be Poppy, <laughs> isn't it? I see her smiling. It's going to be Poppy. Doing it. No, oh. she's not. She's oh. not going to throw it away. <laughs> she... What is she, she going to do? I saw the smirk. I bet she was thinking about it. She was thinking, she was considering going for the Poppy. Morgana. Going to do it on Morgana instead. Oh yeah, she does have a GA there. GA for sure. Oh, stacking Double Morgana with three them. items. I guess she... Oh, against the Brawlers! It's gonna yeah. be a lot of damage, it's gonna hit a lot of different units. Not only is it gonna be a lot of well, damage, this positioning it's gonna is nuts if it, if it doesn't get stopped by the Kassadin. It's gotta get hit a few more times to get the ult off. It does? It goes! Oh, that, that was so, so much damage. did so much. Oh my god. DXN! DXN falls! DXN was a lot of HP. Faye! Faye might, Faye might be in a position to win this entire thing. She's got the one point lead. She just has to outlast Jay and Claudius. And she's beating DXN right now. Faye with the eight points. The defending champion against some very good players. Cloud9, Jay Shreet, Jay Shreet Day, and Claudius, former rank one NA challenger. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Faye has been a player who has been, uh, besides for the last fight night, cursed with second places. But she might go for the Claudius first again here. Finally gets to transition into his Draven. He's going to try and quickly look look at the APM, see how quickly he can get it on the Draven. He grabs... Was that he the grabbed, right item? I think he grabbed the wrong item. I think he grabbed the wrong item. I don't think he wants that tier on him. I think he wanted the Hush, right? I believe so. I mean, I think he was just trying to grab the, the RFC or that Bloodthirster, but... Let's see. Oh, man. Yuzh. That yeah, Yuzh's we... Draven does uh does prevail there. Yeah, we're going to lose Zeus there. Zeus. And mm -hmm. Jay Shrite down to 3 HP. Can he hold on to try and win this fight night? He's one of the contenders, but he's going to have to hold on for quite a long time. Has to outlast Faye. But not only that, needs to place two places higher for the win instead of just tying... Oh man, I don't know if it'll be possible. Jay Shrite, I think, took a big hit in the last round. Gets a clone. A little bit of reprieve, potentially, from this clone. He has a spatula sitting on that cannon. He's hoping to survive at least this round, which he probably should. Claudius playing against Faye here. Can Faye kill him off? Give herself a better shot at winning this. It's going to be a lot of damage. The Draven pumping a lot, but the Cho'Gath gets the knockup, and the Draven might be able to stay alive with the Bloodthirster. Lots of damage coming out. Kennen gets the ult, but Draven's going to stay alive and put some damage onto Faye. Claudius staying alive. Importantly, trying to keep himself in this game. 
Oh yeah. Five players left. Two of them are so, so low. So oh, close. This is a... Uh, this is a nail biter here. I see the players pick what they want from the carousel. I wonder... DXN going for another spatula? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he walked right through that and didn't grab it, but... <laughs> ends up the it. hitbox was a bit too thick there. Let's see what DXN's going to make with that. Where does this tier you go? Get the Seraph Draven? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. That's a sorcerer. It is sorcerer Kha'Zix, after all. Yeah, with the Seraphs. End up doing it. Oh, and he has the second force of nature. Yeah. So 10 units in did, there. Did make that for last. DXN. 10 units and can still level. He's on 6-3 gold. I don't know if there's a way that DXN loses this game. He did take a bit of damage, but he hasn't even reached Jay his final form. Runs into DXN. <laughs> runs he's into the corner in the corner. He, he thinks he he's already going to lose this one. He has Demon Cannon in the front line. Going to get a pretty big ult off, but it doesn't have a lot of AP. No Morellas. The Morellas would have been so nice for him, but he could never find it. Karthus going to try and land that ult down. Cho'Gath gets one more pop-up. Can the Cannon? Oh, oh no. no. The Cossacks the, the last down. Jay is going to go down and with it his hopes of winning this fight night as well. He falls in fifth place, but a great performance out of C9. Jay Shrite coming in here. Going to be placing pretty well in this fight night overall. Definitely, I wonder. I mean, oh, Claudius is, uh, Claudius yeah, so Claudius low. is still Faye, in the top all four. All Faye needs is Claudius to die here. And Faye takes fight night. For the second time. I think so. Yeah. Tier 1 Blitzcrank in here. Will the Blitzcrank make the difference? Claudius runs into huge. This may this is probably the best case for Claudius. He didn't want to run into the end of the, of the top two. He needs to try and survive a little bit longer. A big knockup from the Cho'Gath. But oh, man. Huge's Draven is way stronger, it seems. And he's going to kill off Claudius. And that secures the win. For Faye, Faye will win fight night here, but we'll and see what no the placements point. end up with DXN still probably getting first here. See if he can climb his way onto the podium. Huge also fighting for his place on the podium as well. I think they both have a chance to make it there. They do indeed, especially with Jay Shrite being eliminated um, in fifth place, gaining zero points for this game. So if somebody else that three points wins, they could tie or third Faye, place yet again with a sorcerer poppy in the final game to secure her fight night victory <laughs> she is doing it sticking with the elementalists the elementalists yeah. really proving to not be as weak as i might have thought with that rfc brand definitely not giving a boost in that early to mid game yeah allowing her to keep her hp up and lead into these other items and these other synergies and even though it may not end up being a winning composition it's all she needed top three very smart actually mid game is one of the most important stages of tft currently and she played for a strong mid game and that's what got into top three. Oh, dxn oh, geez. oh my god <laughs> oh my god 11 units in a cart this two six <laughs> sorcerers four Wait, well, four, four void. Void. Or her void. voids. Okay, void. I thought it was like four brawlers. Four brawlers, two glacials, a blitzcrank, five thousand oh bits God. by Noza Joza. Thank you very oh much. We reach God. our goal. We go over our goal. Go beyond our goal. Go even further beyond. Even further beyond. Just as DXN is doing with his unit count right now, eleven <laughs> units on the board takes out Yush. <laughs> in third place that's phase at least second here if she can beat dxn that would be a feat here as he wonder. Has left you on the board how many Truly units ridiculous. has eight eight units in this oh, is one of the most insane games versus this heavy front line but it the is. six sorcerers i think is going to be too much holy moly Amorellos would have been so good here, but she wasn't unfortunately oh, yeah. to pick up Amorellos. She's close on the, the cannon if she can make it to the carousel, but I don't <sighs> know how she? likely that is. 
Oh Poppy going to get hooked by the Blitzcrank. A big Morgana ulti going to hit the a bunch Cho. of members, but the Cho hitting a lot as well. Karthus going to rain down death from above, and Faye's going to die, but she does not care about that, as she will be our Fight Night champion. Congratulations to Faye. She played phenomenally in all of our games. DXN being able to uh, take that game, but... It did not matter, as you said. Faye is victorious and will, I believe, have an interview here with the defending champion of the Heroes Hearth TFT Fight Night. Faye, how are you feeling right now? Congratulations. The two time. Two the time. The two time. Uh, I got really lucky. <laughs> I think yeah, every single game I had three items start. Oh, yeah, I know you. Uh, we observed you got that bow from the carousel at the beginning every single time. Yeah. That's also pretty good. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good right yeah. now. H how did it feel to win Fight Night again with a Sorcerer Poppy inside of your uh, <laughs> composition? You know, that's, <laughs> a, <laughs> that's yeah. a bold move. That is a bold move. 11 points you had at the end. You placed top three every single game second place we have claudius third place jay street day tied for fourth is dxn and Yuge. but you yeah. blew them all out of the water securing 11 points Faye, i don't you, think you can say that you're you're the sue of tft anymore you've won two fight <laughs> nights right. in yeah. a row first yeah. places versus players that are so good cloud nine jay street day my teammate Cladius, former rank one NA player, you made this look easy tonight. Yeah, and you called out Cladius. You told him to come to fight night so you could beat his ass, and you did. <laughs> Cladius almost, he was the one that was challenging you, though. He was That's the one. True. That's true. And <laughs> when you called out, but you took him down. Yeah. Second place. We didn't have Second a static uh, ship showdown, though. There was a lot of no. statues. <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple of other games, but not the. Up. Not the showdown, but I think the important question right now, Faye, if you know, is if you are, are you, are you going to be uh, cashing out the bounty or returning for the next TFT fight night? Oh, definitely returning. Oh, that returning. Gonna try and oh. maintain the queen coming back for her crown. Gotta go three in a row. Yeah. Do you have any, uh, any call out? Calling out? Who are you calling you out? Call out Claudius. You took down Claudius. Do you have any any yeah. other call outs for next? Who's week? next? Who's uh, next? I don't know. Who else? Who's who's left? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, who is left? I don't know. Takes out so many good players here. See, I would call out Crown, but you know he's casting, so he gets right. a, he gets a pass. Oh man, maybe one day we'll see a special appearance of me playing in this, but for now. Enjoying casting alongside Casanova. Yeah, anyone, so, anyone you want, and we can try and get them. Anyone you want, we'll try and get them. <laughs> oh, let I'm us, gonna let to, us know. I'm gonna have to think on that. All right, let us know. Call out on Twitter, maybe. You know. Yeah, you know, we're course saying Joshua G, Scara, any <laughs> of these people that you want. Yeah, right. we can try to make it happen. We will see. We will see. But ah, uh, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations again on the victory. Yeah, First you, place, you. returning next week. Yeah, um, thank you all for the here? bits. Yeah. Everyone, oh. busted open our goal. Not much further. Do you have any uh, shout-outs to end us off with for your, uh, your uh, winner's interview with here, Faye? Uh, Shout-out shout out to Heroes Hearth and everyone that's putting this together. They're doing a really good job. It's really awesome. And Hell it's yeah. Fun. All right. For sure. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I know. want to give a little shout out to uh, Jules. She's running this uh, whole production very phenomenally. Couldn't do this without her. So uh, a little shout out there. She's one of the people who really, really makes this thing come together and work seemingly as seamless, or as seamless as it is. Yeah, can't do it without her. So thank you, Jules. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. And we will see you guys in two weeks.